Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest. Quiet. <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 Homebrew. And tonight we have four and a half games. Four and a half. <laughs> yeah, there's one I added in that's not really a game quite yet, but it's almost a game. But I wanted to show it anyway. Yeah. So, but we'll get to that. Um. The four games we're going to be playing tonight, uh, Mr. Yo-Yo, which nice. we have played before. Yes, this is we a have. big, big update. We haven't played it in a year. Oh, cool. A year. Yeah, cool. Uh, we're going to be playing a new game, Bounce and Catch, mm -hmm. by Vitoko, who's in the chat. Nice. We're also going to be playing a new game by uh, Andregus, Andre G F and Tunez. It's called Seventy Nine Pompeii. Mm -hmm. He's in the chat as well. Excellent. And we're going to be challenging mm. ourselves to a high score. Uh, on Alia Quest. Okay. Um, it is uh, part of the 2600 High Score Showdown Season 5. And so did this just start? It's it's a week long and we're kind of, I think it ends on Friday? Okay, so yeah, we're midweek. So midweek, okay. I think. Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure when it ends, but soonish. We have a gray cat here. Yes. We have a black and white cat here. Both They're cats all are on stream. very excited yep. today. And Dan, I don't know what's going on. Dan but has pointed that out. Excellent. Yep. And we have heat in Regina. Regina! Oh my goodness. <laughs> no 13C. Cat. He wants to tip over my water. Can you get him? No, he won't. He does. He rubs up against my water and tips it. <laughs> He's bad. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. 8-Bit Swami, Al Nefer, Armscar, Coder, Cafe Man, Catalogs, Charles and Chet Coconut, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drexel, M.U. Dan, Great Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Juan Urado, Carl G, KY Gandor. That's a new name. Kai Gandor, Kai Gandor, hmm. Mark Space Inc, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smooth, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Pack Rap, VG, Kohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, or S. Ramirez, 2008, Stephen A, The D Train, Welshman 89, Tiki Dan Gate, and Trek MD, and somebody. Bert Swami, it says eight, recent sub. 8 Bit Swami. 8 Bit Swami, sorry, I'm seeing uh, it from a up, distance. Signed up again, resub yeah. for two months in a row, uh, just before. That is driving me crazy. Uh, 17 minutes ago. So thank you very much. Uh, volume is low. No, it is low. Why is it so low? Let's crank it up. Check, 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 check. Check, check, higher. check. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Yeah. Better? That's a little bit better. Hopefully okay, it's not good. distorted. And we'll bring the microphone down. A just touch? Just a little bit. Oh, the cat Close. is causing problems. We have had ongoing issues in our building, not necessarily in our suite with mice. And every once in a while, you hear this little skittering in the ceiling or the walls. Like, not in the room. We have not seen them anywhere. But the cats, if they suddenly jump up and go crazy... They go like this? They've probably heard something. Yeah. <laughs> no, no delaying. No delays. The the no arena so, foot. <laughs> it was on time. <laughs> so you being late is not on time for yes. us normally on time, which That's is right. late. Yeah. Uh, you can support the show as well and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. It's a horrible sound. Kill the Kill mice. The mice. <laughs> we have mice killers. They don't come into our suite. No, no. We have not it. seen them. Um, we hear them in the walls. The cats get very excited. We assume someone in the building is feeding them because they... Not on purpose. <laughs> Oh, no. Accidentally feeding Accidentally them. feeding them, but yeah. uh, we, we don't seem to have had too much of a problem. So. No, uh, I want to thank yeah. all the people watching as well. Arena Foot, Canadian Tenor, Dan, ABC, <laughs> Ground Trooper, Carl G. Vitoko, Splendid Nut, Crossbow, uh, Miss Command, Nathan Strum, uh, Daniel Medina, uh, oh, anybody else? Chat, chat, Repel Horo, Horoco. I don't know how you say that in Spanish, the X. Heroxo? Heroxo Games? Sorry. Something to look up. <laughs> <laughs> Something to look up. 8-Bit yeah. Swami. Yep. Uh, Al Nefer. And everybody else who yeah. is lurking. Oh, Dave M-A-Z. Oh, we're playing Dave's game tonight. Yay. 
Hey. Dave's game is Mr. Yo-Yo. Oh, so cool. So we've got three out of four. <laughs> um, Alia Quest is made by a guy in 2001, so I don't think he'll be in the chat. <laughs> I'm oh. not sure he's even still on Atari age You forums. never know. You never know. Never know. Stranger uh, things have happened. Yeah. You never know. Here's some scissors and a package. We're going to open the mail Yay! today. Let's see what we got. I love opening presents, yes. even if they're not for me. Presents you buy yourself. That's right. That's what happens when you're an adult. James gets video games. Yeah. Uh, you get art it's usually, supplies. It's usually skincare for me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, Ooh. it's a moisturizer. Is it going to um. go on my face or my hands? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know what this is. Because of do? the cause Well, of the it's, it is an odd-shaped package, right. so it's... Uh, I'm sure they had to rescan it three times before letting it through, <laughs> letting it through the mail because. Oh my goodness! <laughs> did that cross the border? Uh, did it? I think it did. Almost everything does. It's from, oh UK, so it didn't actually cross cross a border, mm. not the southern border. It is a Sega Genesis light gun. Nice. And I didn't buy it for the Sega Genesis. I bought it so I can mod it for Atari systems mm. because there's a very simple, it looks very simple. It's like a couple of resistors and a bit of rewiring um, because eventually I'm going to do a light gun game, a uh, light gun night for Atari because mm. um, there's light gun games on the 7800, 2600 and 8-bit systems. So hopefully this works. I do have a Genesis so I can test it out. I don't have a multi-cart for Genesis. I don't know if I have a light gun game for the Genesis. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, I have a multi-cart for the Sega Genesis, not Sega Master System, so that'll be fine. Um, is your Ed Ladin controller Ooh. still at customs? No, oh, it's down there. You, you missed, mean. yeah. <laughs> it's in the cat cam? Yeah, it's in the sort cat of. cam. We'll yeah. be using it later, so we'll show we'll it off. We'll show it off, yes. Um, so we're, well, our problems are solved. Our joystick problems are over. Yes. It is beautiful. Yeah. I do have a CRT. I have a 1702 um, uh, Commodore 64 monitor. So that is my CRT that we'll be playing on. Excellent. And also incorporated into that show, we're going to be playing Vectrex light game mm -hmm. guns, mm -hmm. uh, light gun games as well. Hello, so, for subscribing. That's a new name. Yes. That's awesome. Bunch Subscribe. of new names today. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, modding this and playing all those games. I don't know if the Atari and Vectrex um are compatible i know crossbow would know so crossbow if you want to let us know if if i mod this for the atari does it work on the vectrex or do i have to buy another gun to use on the vectrex but that is going to be fun um to do that show i don't know when it's off in the future because i do have to do a bunch of special um alterations <laughs> for it welcome andrew davie as well yeah. I'm not afraid of the light gun. It's just a toy. <laughs> Does not fire real bullets. It only senses light. Yeah. Um, speaking of Andrew Davy, perfect timing. Uh, uh, Andrew Davy started a 2600 wiki to collect a bunch of information about programming for the 2600. You know, tips mm -hmm. and tricks cool. and information all in one That's place awesome. because the forums has a lot of information. But you have to search for it. It's not categorized. It's just, you know, people typing stuff out. So what he's done is started a wiki and categorizing it, um, which is awesome. I had had that idea. Of course, ideas are dime a dozen. It's implementing it and actually doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the important part. And it's called Woodgrain Wizardry. Nice. And so he's got a bunch of links here that's set up and people are contributing to it. So you can sign in and sign up and add to it. Um, probably more developers would be using this mm -hmm. because it's, it is primarily for developers. Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go. So it's called Dr. Boo's Woodgrain Wizardry. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where Dr. Boo comes from, but uh, yeah, uh, this Tiki, tiki we, Wiki, would you say Tiki Wiki or Tiki Wiki? Do people call Wikipedia? Wiki? Wait, no. I'm wiki. not sure. Tiki Wiki. Uh, tiki Wiki. <laughs> but it's called Tiki, like Tiki Torches. Tiki -wiki. And very interesting. It's better in print. Technical Don't say it Wiki, out loud. so a, a Tiki. Tiki. Tikipedia. Uh, my name, Dr. Boo. Is it? That's the first oh. time I've seen that. Yeah. 
Uh, contains technical information about the Atari 2600 game system. Purpose is to provide a central repository of technical data, tips and tricks that will make it easier to find out things that work on the machine. So this is great for new developers mm -hmm. that go into the forums and go, ah, oh, I need to help with this. And then people can point them to this and, and makes it easy. Uh, programmer used to use Dr. Dobbs journal for stuff. It's a bit of a modern take on that name. Oh, okay. Cool. So there's, you know, it points to other things as well. Um, see, programming for newbies. That's Andrew Davies. Um, I believe book. I have it up there. Uh, or got turned into a book. Information about the TIA and PIA. Mm -hmm. Playfield time and clock speeds. Memory map, color definition. So you can just take a look at these. You click on it. There's nice charts. There's colors. Mm -hmm. Uh, color charts, really, really well done stuff. Uh, but what about Daniel Kitchen's Tiki Vision Company? Which way to pronounce it? Tiki Vision? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's probably Tiki. I've, I've heard him pronounce it, so it is Tiki. Click on TIA. TIA, okay. That's the interesting one. There's lots of good stuff in there. Ooh, lots of subcategories oh, in nice. this one. Yep. Color definition, collision registers. So I, it has a map of which registers to read, what it uh, what it affects, which collisions, D7, D6, M0 and P1, M0 and P0. Uh, collision matrix, very nice. Yeah, it's good, good stuff in here. So if you're a developer, this is, oh, very nice. So it has all the addresses of, and what they are named, uh, and they're hexadecimal, mm -hmm. what they affect, this is this is really good. I'm definitely going to use this as a resource when I find some time to work on my game. Coloring key. Oh, this is excellent. Uh, so um, he said, I thought it might be worthwhile to have a comprehensive wiki tiki, tiki, a single place where all the accumulated technical knowledge could be stored. The concept is a place where the technical information could be brought together in a curated and carefully cross-linked reference to programming the machine with technical details. And also, speaking of Andrew Davey, mm -hmm. another good segue. Um, you want to win one of these plus cards? You can. Andrew Davey is organizing a giveaway Ooh. as we announced <laughs> nice. last episode, but I thought I'd let everybody know he has placed an, an end to it. It's closing this Sunday, okay. so you definitely want to put your name in if you don't have one of these or I guess if you want a second one but mm. it's probably better if to get to go to somebody who doesn't have one mm. um, all you need to do is vote on your favorite font default font for it and that's where you go um, there's four fonts to pick from oh there they are I still have that page up um, so we went over these last episode so if you want to look at what they look like you can look at the intro to the last episode um, but there's four to choose from. Small caps, Captain Morgan Spice, Tri... Tri... No, Tritomic? Tri... Oh, they're... The Trichotomic. Trichotomic. That was it? Oh, oh my goodness. Tri and Glacier Bell. Trichotomic. Trichotomic, yes, because the, the emphasis was wrong the first time Tri we said it. Trichotomic. Uh, Dan, ABC, I voted, then commented, then, then left, left the, the club. club. <laughs> That's and what they were suggesting, yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, Andrew yeah. did say that is yeah. an option. Don't You don't have to stay in the club. But once you get the cart, you probably do want to stay in the club because mm -hmm. it has a bunch of information. Um, so make sure you go vote. You have to join the club, at least, if you're not already joined, so you can vote and comment. And you have to make a comment why you voted mm. to pick the one you did. And then you'll be entered in the draw. And then we are going to pick the names. We are. Out of an actual hat. <laughs> so I know Who's you, sending us the hat? <laughs> uh, well, you have some hats. I have some hats. So we're going to use one of Tanya's hats. Okay. We're going to lift it up. Or, and you, you, you'll pick it out. Yeah. Pick a name out. And that Sounds person... Fair. Sounds fair. Will win one of these. Not this one, but one like it. <laughs> Not my plus card. No. Um, they're really awesome. It connects your Atari 2600 to the internet. It has tons of homebrew on there. You can chat online through your 2600. It's incredible. Nice. And it's got high scores as well that record automatically when you play games. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of new games, uh, there is an update. No, uh, not that one. Uh, there's an update from Al 
Mm. Uh, a couple days ago, he said, uh, somebody asked, when are they coming? When's the new games coming? And he answered, soon. Manuals are in production, and I should have them this week. So, like, this week. And I will have more hard proofs of labels this week after several needed to be modified. Assuming no issues with those, they will also go into production. I should have them the following week. Then I can start labeling all the carts that I've been building and shipping orders out. Can't wait to get these new names and uh, new games into everyone's hands. So within, it sounds like two weeks, he'll be able to start shipping some out. Excellent. If everything goes well. Good. Uh, and he also made a comment later about he sent off a manual to the printers and the printer went, this is, looks like gibberish. Is this what you wanted to print? And, and, and uh, Al's Did got... Did the font not translate correctly or something? Yeah, like you, sometimes you have to send fonts yeah. along so they can translate it properly, so they can install the fonts if you have a font they don't have, which mm -hmm. is very possible. And I guess that's, maybe that's what happened. He's mm -hmm. like, no, 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 that's not what it looks like. Uh, here, here's here's the fix. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he's like got, 15 games to print manuals for and stuff so there's a lot of work that mm. has to go into it and uh our game zero page homebrew the game is done it's finished everything's like we were play testing it the yeah, other we day were, we were yeah 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 so it's going to go into production <laughs> <laughs> soon i'll probably make five of them okay not too many because they cost money to make yeah uh, one for us, one for the developer. Yeah. And uh, three to give away. Something mm. like that. Yeah. Um, so the coding's complete on it. Uh, uh, Leandro Camara made the game. He's developer of Deep Space and Rally Racer. Uh, so I'll be working on the cart cartridge graphics, like the label, and also the manual in the next couple months, and then uh, getting them made. So we'll be giving away at least three copies later this year. And it's uh, it's a fun game has got you it's got me in it it's got darcy it's got, got erilyn it's got the cats it's got both cats <laughs> and you can play as all of those characters mm -hmm. it's awesome and i'm the bad guy in the in the game you are the bad guy because <laughs> at first we thought i was the good guy and then it was like no. this is too easy this doesn't make any sense yeah no but it's the opposite way it's around the opposite but way. We'll, we'll play it again once i've got the cartridges yeah. in my hand and then we'll do a giveaway so that'll be fun <laughs> Welcome to the Andrew Davy Show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> too, too many. A 50-gallon cowboy hat. Do you have no. a cowboy hat? No. no. <laughs> it's going to be some other hat. Yeah. Um, so if people have been following, following along on all the social media, uh, Zero Page Homebrew social media outlet things, you know, Twitter, Instagram, mm. Facebook, and Atari Age, I posted this the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, very cryptic. Um, so... The one of the special episodes has a date now. It is Friday, March twelfth, and it's at a special time, uh, four p.m. It's two hours earlier than normal. I booked time off work, so that Ten got approval, so it's all good. So I don't have to go good. to work that day. Nobody's selling the zero-page homebrew video game. It's free. It's just gonna be given away. It'll be a ROM, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a ROM. Yeah. I'll give away some copies, and then everybody can just download it and burn yeah. their own if they want to. Mm. I, I I have no interest in selling it. Um, uh, so the special show, it's it's massive. Mm. It's a big big show. Uh, in one and a half weeks, Friday, March twelfth. Put it on your calendar. Mm -hmm. Literally, do not miss it. Like, it's live. You have to catch it live. Like, you have to catch this live. <laughs> Um, so it's earlier than normal. It's two hours earlier than normal. Um, uh, like it's, it's seriously a big show once in a lifetime type of thing. It's, it's incredible. Um, and I can, I can confirm that. She yeah. can confirm that yeah. it, it, she's booked the day off work. I've so booked the day off work. You might want to do that too, <laughs> or at least have your phone watching nearby. You want to be in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't, I, I seriously, <laughs> I can't say anything more, more about it. I can't. Yeah. It's um, exciting. I'm excited. Yeah. It's, It'll be good. But I will be able to reveal some more details soon. Um, I don't know, in a week or something. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned um, for the thing I've been teasing forever <laughs> <laughs> that I still can't say much about. But I posted that QR code. So maybe check out the QR code mm. and see where it leads you know but i can't say anything and i cannot confirm nor deny anything either so if you ask questions i can't say anything 
Uh, so, on to the games, kind of. The first kind of game we're going to be playing. Okay. Is, this is the half doing? game? No, oh, no. Can you put oh. it in the chat, please? What just happened there? No, you no, clicked OK went, or something. Yeah, no, I was trying to close okay. it. Okay. All right. Uh, so, we've got the controllers for the game right here. Okay, so this is why it's a half game, because we, we don't have like eight people. Is that the idea? Uh, yeah, and we are going to have to use all these controllers ourselves. <laughs> so you get four controllers, uh, um, and I get four controllers. Are the cats helping us? Uh, if they can. <laughs> so if you can undo all of these. Undo I'm, all of them, thank I'm you. I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Um, and if you could plug them in to the, the quad tari. And keep them Relatively like separated. like separated, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh let me turn it off first. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? I said, wait. What are you turning off? The Atari. Oh, I didn't realize. That. Yeah. It was even on. Okay. The audacity of somebody to continually tease us like that. No, Nathan. Um, <laughs> so this was released today. This is the first ever eight-player Atari 2600 game. Nobody has made an eight-player game ever. This is crazy. Simultaneous. People have made eight-player games, but simultaneously eight people playing at once. Because um, I was wanting somebody to make an eight-player game. Because I was like, you know, you, you put in four pairs of paddles, which work. You can have eight players on the Quadtari. And somebody made an excellent, excellent game for eight players. Um, it is called... Uh, why don't I have the name of it? That's crazy. It's called Vroom. There it is. Uh, and it's made by Thomas Yench. Uh, it was very, way too late for him to be up watching this, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Because he's, uh, he's in the European uh, Union. Uh, so he said, after a course idea of a one-button racing game, I went ahead and started coding. Wow. The, cur the current result is nowhere near being completed. But I think it's good enough for first impression. Mm -hmm. On real hardware, it works with Quadtari and four sets of paddles, which we have. From which only the buttons are used. Of which you can only use the buttons, really. Uh, gameplay. Press the button while your car is over the boost arrow. So let's, let's load it up so we can take a look at this. Hey, Johnny WC. John Shampo has joined us. Welcome to the show. Oh, just ignore the Mr. Yo-Yo graphic. I'm not playing Mr. Yo-Yo yet. Actually, I should get rid of that because I use that for timing. Uh, so I can label things afterwards. That'll just confuse me. Okay, so let's load it up. Switch over our view and take a look at the first ever eight-player simultaneous Atari 2600 game. Vroom, and this was released today that's a lot of players <laughs> so there are eight cars on the screen don't press any buttons I'm not yet pressing anything you're trouble you are not trouble. i'm just getting ready <laughs> i'm just getting ready um so you're gonna have to have kind of two in one hand like oh. this no you don't have oh to. you've already pressed the oh button. no look at what you it. did look at what you did <laughs> um yeah, I see what you're saying. I okay. see what you're saying. We don't have to play eight at once, but yes, we'll we try. Yes, we do. We'll try. Yes, we okay. do. It's doable. Okay, so uh, gameplay. Press the button while your car is over the boost arrows. The arrows will... Oh, you got going again, too. The arrows will turn your car's color, if done right, and black if you miss them. The oh, former will accelerate your car. The latter will break. That is hilarious. There is no end to this game yet. You can only try and take the lead. Um, so that is the game. Okay, reset so there, it. So Let's start. Yeah, very colorful game. Luckily, he did put in a reset. I've seen some people make games, and it's like, oh, you can't reset the game. Okay, so I just want to figure out which one's which, because I want this one to be the rightmost one. Oh, perfect. And then... Oh, no, no, no. That's not right. Okay, yeah, here, we is. have to switch. No, I have the okay. third and fourth. So this, That's very confusing. This is what we want. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I was just... So Tanya is the no. top four cars. <laughs> I is... have the top four and you have the bottom four. Yes. Okay. Now we're kind of ready. 
This is going to be a disaster. Oh. Oh. I accidentally started pressing something. That you 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 continually start. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? No. <laughs> Uh, I don't know which one's which. I need the, I think the opposite. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. The unpaddle. Yep. Oh, yeah. Just a button. That would be good. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go! Oh, 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 some, some oh, timing. That's it. <laughs> I think we should play one at a time. <laughs> because we're inevitably going to get to this point where... Yeah, we, we miss and it goes to a crawl. So is this is this a fully fledged game or is it just? No, no, no. There's no end point right now. So right now I'm holding down all four. You know. Well, they're just they're they're creeping forward regardless of yeah, whether you because hold them we miss them because it's confusing. So I'm gonna just do my top orange cart. Well, I can't even get go. To one. No, we'll start again. Yeah. Okay. Because they all so... start. <sighs> no. Stop pressing. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to play two? I'm I'll try. One. We'll see. So Tanya is two of the top yeah. somewhere. Uh, and I'm the orange cart. Okay. Oh, you already started. So you press when you're on the arrows and don't press when you're oh, off them. Yeah. Because otherwise you slow down. So it's very risky pressing on the twos. Oh, I'm, I have to know which one is which. It's not helping me at all. Oh, oh my. Actually, you... Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Red Car. I, I know you can. Yeah, if you miss, it's almost game over. Oh, you can kind of tell who's in front. Can you? Because it does creep forward slightly. Ah, oh, yes, it does. Interesting. But there is no Neat. finish line. No, it just keeps going, right? And it's all about your accuracy. Yeah. And how much you want Almost like a music game. You have to hit yeah. the arrow when you pass it kind of thing. And how much of a risk you want to take. Well, I don't know if there's much risk, really. No, you, you just hold have it to too keep... long. Oh, you it slow down? It goes black. Because if you're pressing it while it's not on the arrows, you slow down to a crawl almost until you get to oh, the next Oh, that arrows. makes sense. That's why playing eight players is not really the way to go. Well, for both of us, yeah. When you have eight, eight people in the room, it is. Ah, damn it! No! There we go. Pressing on the just the two arrows is very risky. It's making me very dizzy too. Is it? Woo! I'll just stare at your car. Yeah. I. It's yeah, I guess. It's much better if you just stare at your own car. So theoretically, those guys at the bottom should be really far behind. How can you tell? Because they haven't started the race, and we've been playing for two minutes on the other people. True. Good yeah. point. But I want to see if, if they can catch up, or if it's like relatively far behind, if he's done that yet. Because they kind of catch up, but it kind of pushes everybody else So forward. your your distance in the lane is... How far ahead you how are. How far ahead you are. Yeah. Mm, very good. That's a very good way of tracking it, too. Yeah, because you don't need... You need to have some idea... Because you can't put numbers, there's not enough room on the screen left, right? Yeah, this is going to be amazing uh, for eight players. <laughs> wow. Or even okay, four. Okay, I'm dizzy now. <laughs> and he says he's going to put AI wow. for people, like if you don't have enough uh, controllers. He's going to fill it in with AI. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So that they're not just sitting there. The cars aren't just sitting there. <laughs> so looks like, yeah, brilliant design. A stable chase, eat your yeah, heart out. Yeah. yeah, you could do horse jumping. Like press the horse at the right time <laughs> so it jumps over and doesn't stumble. Yeah. You could do hurdles as well with one button. You oh, yeah. you Hurdles would be really cool too because you're yep. jumping over and if you hit it, you slow down. Yep. That yep. would make a lot. That would be a really cool concept too. That would be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's lots of good concepts you could do with one button. Yeah, but this yeah. one's really good because people like racing games. Yeah. Um, I love the concept of having eight people crammed in a room, <laughs> all tethered to the Atari oh, by their by their controllers. Crammed semicircle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yes. So this will be good for our multiplayer day when this is all yes. over. And if you happen to have a big family, this is a good yes. game to play. <laughs> 
Yeah, JC Church, welcome to the show. This yes. is a great start to a good game. Yeah, yes. it's yeah. very cool. Uh, Flicker when they were all, all eight of them. Yeah, there was yeah. a bit of oh, sh a bit of, of, yeah. of jump. Yeah, it's, so. but it looks really good. The colors are good. All and, and the tracking of the distance using the uh, car is a smart idea if the that's relative. what's actually happening because now it the red has be. moved behind or did yeah. it wrap? I don't know. I, he'll, I'm sure he'll figure that yeah, out. Yeah, but I like it a lot. Because yeah. all you need is a counter for mm -hmm. each car. Whichever one's ahead is literally ahead. Mm -hmm. Even if they're going slow, like your red car should probably... Oh! Oh! oh. What just happened there? Somebody they caught up. They all shifted, up. yeah. I think somebody caught up to somebody else. Oh, really? And then it kind of reset the red. Everyone. The red did. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay, so that hmm. is the half game. Because it's not... You know, there is no... You can't win it. So it's not really that's okay. very cool eight player Four mario game. kart 2600 yeah. <laughs> remember yeah, there's yeah, only yeah, yeah. one button so you have to kind of i guess you could uh, change those into mario kart kind yeah. of things you have to work within the confines um so we're gonna play mr yo-yo by uh dave m and that is not an eight paddle game surprisingly because <laughs> it's the only one in the world but we get to use Woo! Our new nice. controller. The Atlantic. So everybody Look can check that. that out. Look at that. It's looking good. It's a solid piece of equipment. Which one's which? Metal, uh, beautiful design twisted. on the side. The smoke and the clear purple, although I think they're on the wrong sides because nope. James should have the smoke and I should have the purple. I thought about that, but I wanted the smoke on the left. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> Ah, uh, very nice. It is. Um, yeah. So if you could load up Mr. Yo-Yo, please, uh, and I'll turn on the graphic again for it. Ah. Swapped over. No, just the volume. Volume. That is a bit loud there. Sorry, everybody's ears. R.I.P. Headphone users. Uh, this is by David Mer Marley. Uh, this build is from yesterday, <sighs> March. Oh, today, March second. Um, oh, that's too low now. It's a 4K game. Uh, this is his first game he's ever made. Um, you can download this version in the Atari Age forums. He saw that we're going to play it on the show, and he's like, "Oh, I better put a, a version up right now." Uh, he said, oh crap, I better release an update then. Um, so this, we haven't played this in a year. So there are tons and tons of updates. Okay. So I'm just going to go over the newest ones. Okay. Turn up a little bit more. There I like the go. fonts. Oh yeah, great. Just had to great point that fonts. out. Um, the biggest update that's happened is that right. everything used to flicker. Um, add like 30 hertz maybe 15 because every like every character on the screen was flickering and now he's had a lot of help in the forums to to get that under control so everything there's no flickering except for the score on the bottom but that's that's fine so you want to get that that p so you remember how to play uh vaguely yeah okay you have to shoot the shoot the guys and then a note comes at the bottom get that get that get ah, it. easier it. said than done it is yeah. there you go ah. And then you want to get the note at the bottom of the screen and it's collect it concept. back up to the top. And then as the levels go on, um, <laughs> it takes more to get the notes. You have to shoot. Oh, yeah. game over. Super cute. It's improved a lot in a short time as the remaining issues have been ironed out and the screen was redesigned. Yeah, Carl G says. So he's also redesigned the graphics on the screen. Um, and he had kind of a, a poll about, oh, which one should I use? And this one won out, kind of cavey design, the wavery cave design. Um, uh, let's see. So I'm going to read the instructions. Terrible timing. Come on. So we can know what's going on here. I mean, the, the basics are uh, understandable. And it starts out relatively easy. The first level is easy. But After then, that, it gets really hard shooting those guys. There's some, some blue guys that are going to come. Oh, no, I don't want to know. Oh, Dennis DeBro, Yes, that's right. That's who is helping. Oh. Uh, where is the instructions? There we are. You control Mr. Yo-Yo. The object is to rescue the little musical note guys, notalies, that appear in the bucket at the bottom of the screen. 
To rescue them, descend to the bottom of your string when a notely appears in the bucket. You'll start flashing various colors when you've collected a notely. Uh, return to the top of the screen to release them to safety. Each round cave has a certain number of notelies that need to be rescued before time expires. So you've got a little timer down at the bottom. Uh, the red, and I believe the green indicates how many notelies you need to rescue. Mm. Yeah, it just went up. So the green needs to go to the top, and you don't want to get the red to the bottom. Shoot that, shoot that! You have to shoot it or you get it? Shoot it, I believe. Oh, that was lucky. It was. And you got a note at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, controls. The button controls your movement. Push the button and Mr. Yo-Yo descends. Release the button and he goes back up the string. Push the joystick right and left to fire the lasers at the enemies. You can hold the joystick in one direction for continuous fire. Uh, console controls. I think I'm on BB, which is good. Uh, Mr. Yo-Yo's oh, speed. These guys. B is normal, A is slow. Oh, they're oh, so yeah. bad. They're very hard. They're really hard. Well, the right difficulty controls the enemy speed. B is normal, A is fast. So we're on the easiest version of this game right now. Thank goodness. Because it gets harder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Dave says either. Oh, so you can run into them or shoot them. Shoot the power-up for a smart bomb. Collect the power-up to trigger a coin frenzy. Mm. So it's better to collect it than to shoot it. Uh, status bar. The gray at the bottom of the screen is your status bar. Mm -hmm. The red marker is the timer, which you just saw uh, got bonus. Ooh, I thought it was a bonus screen for a second. There's two I coins coming out. Oh, lots of coins. Uh, the green marker shows your progress. The red marker starts at the right and counts slowly to the left. When it reaches the end of the left of the bar, you're out of time and no, can no longer score any points in the cave. The green marker starts at the left and moves to the right every time you rescue a noteway. When the green marker reaches the right side of the bar, you've completed the cave and received bonus points for any time remaining. So you don't die when you run out of time then. You just don't get bonus points. So you can play it safe if you just want to get high in the levels. That's interesting. Oops, snuck in between them. It's actually it's better to works. go when there's ghosts on the screen because they're predictable and slow. Yeah. Uh, caves. Each level consists of three caves, followed by a bonus cave. To get to the bonus cave, you must complete the three other caves before, all before the time expires. Oh, so you gotcha. don't get the bonus if you let the timers run out. So that's an incentive not to. Get it! Oh yeah! Get all the coins! Get all the coins! Zero, zero coins! One coin! Yay! I got one. Um, the color of the cave walls determine how many notelies to rescue, as well as oh, how to get guys. how to get the notelies appear in the bucket. Yeah, those are tough to do. <laughs> JHC Church says you're getting good at no, this. No, no, no. Getting better at it. I'm getting better. At it. It's a good hard at game. Good at it. That's subjective. Good is yeah, quite subjective. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh. Ah, sucking so bad today. Blue caves rescue five notelies. They immediately appear. Purple caves rescue six notelies. Uh, you must shoot one object or collect one coin to get them. You're at the green caves. I hate those. You have to kill those blue guys. Yeah. They just destroy your, your, yeah. You're at the green caves. You have to rescue seven notelies and shoot two objects or collect one coin to get them to appear. Oh, so the coins yes, they get do. you the notes. Nice. Ah, that's how to get rid of it. Ah! <laughs> and there's guys. one more level. Orange cave. Yes. Try to get the you orange You have to rescue cave. eight notelies. Shoot three objects or collect one coin. Uh, the first level consists of a purple, blue, purple, and green cave. All other levels consist of purple, green, and orange caves. Bonus caves. You successfully complete all three caves in a level. Before the time expires, you get a bonus cave. So it, it's like... Cave, 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 bonus. Cave, mm -hmm. cave, 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 bonus. Cave, 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 bonus. Uh, shoot 15 bonus targets to get the bonus gem to appear. Rescue the bonus gem before the time expires to get 9,900 points. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Ah. Oh, so close. Ah, got it! Oh, nice. Nice, get all those notes. Oh, I nice. got quite a few, actually. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was good. Uh, you'll also get an intermission cutscene in celebration of your accomplishments, so you definitely have to show that. Oh. 
Atari, Atari, Atari. Collecting coins is a secret to high score. Okay. So every time you see a coin. Try to get as many as possible. It's hard. It is, yeah, it is not, uh, not the easiest. <laughs> um, so there's five enemies, each with their own characteristics. If any of them touch Mr. Yo-Yo, you lose a life. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm having a terrible time right now. There we go, finally. So those are the gray blobs. They just move across the screen and do not interact with your string. There are 100 points. Uh, gray blobs. Purple flappers. Maybe a, a reference to Mule. Maybe not. Because there are flappers in that game. Mm -hmm. And there are colors. I know it's always blue flapper. Blue flapper. Faster than the blobs, they hover up and down. They do not interact with your string. 150 points. Blue bouncers. They're is, horrible. They're very annoying. You have to kill them. Yeah. You have to. When they hit your string or the end of the screen, they will reverse and speed up. They will not leave the screen until you shoot them. 200 points. Green stunners. If they touch your string, you'll be paralyzed for two seconds. Not good. 250 points. We haven't seen that yet, have we? No, that's, they're in the last, they're in the last level. Not Too good at, at, at timing. Uh... Red snippers. Scissor guys who will cut your string if they touch it, costing you a life. 300 points. If you can shoot three of them in a cave without losing a life, they'll stop spawning for the rest of the cave. Unless you lose a life and... Oh, three blue guys. They're mean. Okay, my turn. There you go. You can start with objects. Objectives. What? Other objects? Other... Coins, you can shoot them for 100 points or collect them for 1,000. Collecting a coin will also cause a new Notely to appear, as long as you're not carrying one with you already. It doubles the value of the Notely Rescue up to 3,200 points. So really, you, you want to collect the coins if you can. Yeah. Easier said than done. Uh, power Pods, if you shoot one, you get 300 points, and it acts God. as a smart bomb, killing all enemies on the screen. What is it? Sorry, what? The P. The oh, P. okay. Yeah. Power Pod. Uh, kills everything on the screen, and you'll also get points for those enemies. If you collect a power pod, you'll score 3,000 points. It turns all enemies on the screen into coins, and it triggers a coin frenzy where nothing but coins are spawned for about four seconds. Okay. It's very, very good. You want those. <laughs> Dave M says, not an intentional reference to, to Mule. Ah, yeah. uh, to do list add two player option, uh, two player alternating turns, and cool. a two player co op where one what? player moves and the other fires. Oh. A selectable starting level. We might have to try that just for the oh, heck yes. of it. Oh, my yeah. God. Terrible. I'm doing terrible. <laughs> Be more cautious. Awesome. Yeah, two-player co-op. That'll be interesting. I don't know if that, how that'll work. Whether it be good or frustrating well, or... I mean... It'll be better. It's kind of nice. You can split. I, I always One like co-ops. I always on... like co-ops where it's um, cooperative. Like like yeah. truly cooperative where you're, you're both... Rather than a two-player game where you're just alternating. Not enough games like God. That. Oh, the blue ones are so hard. I like Robotron for that. The fact that... You're both working towards yes. killing everything on the screen, so. It's much better to get the blue guy immediately, because he's slow at first. Oh, yeah. Initially. Until he bounces off your string, and then it gets worse and worse. Oh, my God. That was a bad game. But it was my first game, so. Oh, selectable mm. starting hasn't been implemented. That's okay. It's coming. First level is mm. pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> So I shouldn't die in the first level because <laughs> you're just collecting a bunch of uh, notes. You don't have to even shoot anything. You just have to dodge. So you can get a lot of bonus points in the first level. Coin! Coins are so fast, they're really hard to intentionally get. Unless you're like down already, like near it. And you can reverse your course. Prodigy, this is an original game concept, right? Yeah, I believe so. Very, very <laughs> yeah. original. It's really cute. I yeah. really like it. It's, I love it's... the hat. I love the smiley face. I love yes. that he sticks his tongue out at certain points in time, and too. he spins around. It's oh, it's really so great. great. The yo-yo. a lot of really clever concepts in yeah. this. Yeah. 
it seems like something so creative that's like, oh, somebody must have done this before. <laughs> like, it's yeah. like a, a playoff of some really well-known ah <laughs> game that was in the arcade or something. Because it's, it's got that cutesiness to it. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, blue guy. I was practicing a little bit before on the blue guys because I know they're a nightmare. So I know my tactics, I just have to yeah. implement, implement them. Implement them. Yeah, I find I find the shooting part, trying to get it to... Uh, did I touch it or did I shoot it? I think I, I shot think you it. shot it. <laughs> um, like, shooting the things you want to shoot can be frustrating sometimes. Like, especially the blue guys, it's like... Damn it! You know you can't leave them on the screen, so you're like going after them, that's when you accidentally yeah. kill yourself, because... The longer so, they're there, the, the, the harder they are. Because things are near you. Yeah, And when exactly. you're trying to shoot them. Yeah. Oh, I'm wasting lives on them. You must be close to being finished. Uh, not really, unfortunately. No? I'm like, just over halfway. I just love it. Mm. <gasps> Damn it! Ah! One life left. Yay! Is the purple Next cave level. or the bonus? It's the bonus. Oh. I have to shoot them or get them? I think you get them, don't you? They're really hard to get. You want to capture them. Shoot ten! Shoot ten. Oh, I have to shoot them then. Stop running into them. <laughs> oh, there we go. And I got it. And I returned it. There we go. That's the objective. Okay. <laughs> Here's the cutscene. <laughs> Even the gray blob comes in and dances. The gray blobs are pretty harmless. <laughs> and then he left. Oh, he's by himself. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was, that was so awesome. cute. <laughs> ah, I got an extra life. Nice. You haven't seen the cutters yet. Oh, they're nightmares. Oh, you did get an extra life. I guess the 10 gives you an extra life. Oh. oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Good job. Yay. And I got a note -lee. I like the note -lees. Note -lees are awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Ah. Oh, uh. 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 Too oh, many right blue guys. Bottom. Oh. oh. My turn! Yes, win the bonus round for an extra life. That's awesome. Mm. Uh, okay, let's see what else there is. So I have some more notes uh, about this. So new in this build, uh, starting with level seven, all the enemies move vertically. Not just the purple flappers. That said, I've never been able to make it to level 7. <laughs> but this will come into more into play as I, once I add the level select feature. Mm. Uh, the progress bar now tracks the number of targets shot during the bonus cave. There we go. Ah, coins, terrible. The Not the greatest, but that's okay. Yeah, you got some. Got a lot of points. Oh yeah, it does give you a lot. Ah! My timing is terrible sometimes. Uh, like... The green marker will move a space to the right with each target shot and will fla start flashing after nine has been shot. Okay, that's how that'll tell you. Oh, we're doing really well with bonus stuff. I, 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 I hit it. I Sorry, I didn't capture it. I shot, shot it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you shoot your tenth target, a bonus... Ah, stop it! <laughs> the bonus gem will appear and the progress marker will move a space to the right again continue flashing. If you ignore the gem and continue to shoot targets, the progress move marker will not move. But you still score 500 points. So, you, so if you have lots of time remaining, rack up those points. Ah, so in the bonus level, if you have time left... Oh, that was very close. It was. I'm ah, very good at being close. <laughs> <laughs> so you have t time left in the bonus level. Mm. Don't bring the gem up to the top. Get it? Yes! There you go. Get those notes. Oh, oh, what the hell? 
Pickles! <sighs> hmm. Uh, picking up the gem and returning to the top with the cave will cause the marker to move all the way to the right, completing the bonus cave. Oh, Previous, I killed him too. Previously, the marker sat on the left side of the progress bar until you rescued the gem, then it moved all the way to the right. With no way to tell how many targets you had left to shoot. You can play again. Yeah, I'm going to play again. I've rewritten most of my enemy movement routine. You won't notice a difference playing the game, but the routine is much more efficient. And I've freed up a lot of space. Uh, not sure I'll be able to catch the ZPH live tomorrow night, but you did. <laughs> uh, but I'll do my best. At the very least, I'll watch the archive show the next day. Thanks so much for featuring the game. You're very welcome. It's a great, great game. Yeah, we thoroughly enjoy playing it. Yeah. I, I've, I, it, and it, it, it's a game that sticks in your head because it's such a unique idea, but it's yeah. really fun to play and it's challenging. Yep. You can probably tell by us cursing from time to time. Well, it's one of those games where <laughs> you know you can do better. If yeah, you just yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice just keep more. practicing. It, it hooks you in. Get it? Nice. <laughs> You're really good at getting those peas. I don't think I've got... I didn't get one. Really? You've got one every time you play it. Yeah, but and yet I get continually <laughs> run into... Uh... Maybe that's a problem. You run into things. Yeah. As well as the peas. Yeah, yeah. Not just the peas. <laughs> yeah, very true. Very true. Dave M says, I've cursed at it very... At it many times. Thanks again. Oh. Glad you liked it. Like it. Yes, we do. Very much. It's, so. it's very cute. <laughs> oh my God! First guy out of the gate. I know. It's because I'm trying to control my yo-yo, but I really should just not go, not yeah. go until I'm absolutely confident that I'm not going to hit something. It's very cute. Great controls. Incredible idea. Large variety of enemies. Bonus stages. <sighs> I'm just so yeah i know i know i'm getting more wine that's the solution i'm, conv I'm convinced that's the solution <laughs> seems to help when i play pool so <laughs> to a point to a point nope. go oh my god that was terrible I'll be can you back. reset it please oh Rage, reset. Yep. Reset? Yep, reset. Reset to reset. Reset to reset. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's not what you think it is. True. I think there's going to be a lot of rage resetting for our last game, Alia Quest, because I'm going for high scores. Um, so it's going to be. Hopefully, not too many resets, but. Will you shall see. Rage reset! It's right, RC70. I can't just come right out of the gate and die immediately. That's just embarrassing. We'll just pretend it never happened and press that magic reset button. There we go! Can you get one? One? Yeah, one. One. I nice! Two in a row! We're getting some coins. Nice! That was crazy. Two in a row. Two peas in a row! And I got both of them. You did? Yep. Good for you. Oh. oh. I went for that one too. Went for the third. <laughs> Not quite. Not worth the life. Not worth the risk. Rage reset. Nice, nice. Lots of points. Yeah, because of the because of the peas. That's why. Well, that was uh, bonus, right? For for time. Uh. I think at the end. Ye oh, I can't remember. I think so. You get bonus for time. What you hit along the way already increases your score. Oh, well, you do score. get bonus at the end of the. That's what I mean. That that last. The bit. level. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys. So man. if you so if you finish it early. They look smug too. They do like. There's yeah. something about their eye. Oh, you know the the. Mm, they look angry and smug as they're as they're. Well, they're very powerful. They're. They know it. They're they not know the most it. powerful. We haven't even encountered the most powerful. Oh, the yet. cutting one. <laughs> deadly yeah the cutting ones i hope the cutting ones move slowly because if they're the sp oh oh if they move too fast then it's like oh you're just dead yeah but it's been such a long time since i've encountered a a cutting oh two or three uh. mm -hmm. oh my god and you have to clear them like mm -hmm. you can't continue. You can't playing continue. The game. It's it, they they bounce back and forth so fast. Play again. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> mm. They start 
Start slow, but shoot a couple and they speed up. Yeah. Yep. They're they get mean. Angry. They're mean. You can tell they look mean. <laughs> they look smug. Super smug. You get a lot of bonus on the first one. <laughs> so I don't know if the bonus directly relates to what level you're on. Like you get mo more bonus later on. Mm. But so you can get a lot of points in the first level just by just powering through and doing this. That wasn't very good. <gasps> no! Damn it! At least we got to see the, the um, intermission when I played it last. Actually, this is the last cave, isn't it? Purple? I think it is. Doodle, 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 doodle. The bonus is 10 points times the level number. Oh, so you do get more points as... Um, the levels go up. Ah! Ah! Every death feels so preventable. Damn it! Ah! So if anybody has not played this game, you need to. It's so good. And it looks really good now that uh, all the flicker is gone. Because uh, it was a bit distracting before. I know he was really working hard to get rid of it. Mm. And I was hoping he was going to be able to because it just looks so much better mm -hmm. now. It looks it was, great. It was very distracting. Yeah, it's really solid now. Yeah. Ah, <gasps> Whatever you're thinking watching this, it is it is not Hard. the easiest to, to control the yo-yo because the, once he starts moving, he, it's almost like he, he feels elastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, come on. Good luck. Good. One. Until. Now I want to go to the top. Start. Oh. oh, that's just mean. <sighs> you kill a gray one. You got them both! Wow, talk about good timing. Oh, another one came on and killed it immediately. Oh, those blue ones. No! Go away! No! Because they start gathering because if you don't... Oh, good. If you don't... Oh, okay. Ah, I have to shoot them. Stop hitting hit. them! Extra... Stop hitting them! How far along am I? Oh, oh you're halfway. Them. There we go. How much time do I have left? A little bit. A little bit. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Go up, go up, go up, go up. There. <laughs> go up, go up. Party time for Mr. Yo Yo. I love the gray guy who goes. <laughs> Zoop. <laughs> He's like, come out of here. Can't be seen with you. Yeah. I'm your enemy. Guard the cave. Ah! Oh, I should go up. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, another one appears. Thanks. There we go. Good. Oh, nice. Yay. Get him. Yep. Oh, yeah. I just keep getting... Oh, good job. Good. You got, like, a his, couple of them. He stuck out his tongue. He still got... Get oh. it. What, uh, what makes him stick out his tongue? Like, what things make that happen? <laughs> the rave, Miss Commander, the rave. right? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, look! What was that? It stunned me. <gasps> oh, another one stunned me. Another one stunned me. Oh, my God. Those are new, eh? Yeah. Those one. blue ones are still the biggest menace, though. So you want to be at the bottom or the top when those things come on the screen. Oh, they're so <laughs> too rough. High. They're so hard. 
But if they only stun you if you touch their string. Yeah. So if you're at the top, they're not going to affect you. Which is fine, because if you're at the bottom... <gasps> no! Those blue guys. So collect to... four coins, then rescue, and he'll stick out his tongue. Uh, okay. And I love this, where it's just game over, but yeah. it still kind of plays it's a bit. It's playing that level, yeah. I guess eventually we'll just get four blue guys. If you leave it long enough, because the blue guys don't leave. That's that's true. Want to play that's one true. more, or are you good? I'm good, because okay. I don't, I'm not going to get nearly as far as... <laughs> no. Just we'll leave it on that Unless note. you want to try it again to no. see if you can get no, to the cutters. No, I don't think I will. No? Because uh, okay. that's one more past, and I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Uh, when we get the level selected, we'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, that off. So the next game is actually a paddle game. Okay. Uh, funny enough. Thank you, Dave M. A. Z. Yes. Very, very cool game. We really like this game. Yeah. Yeah. It is tons of fun. Mm hmm. Lots going on. Good variety of enemies. Very cute. Lots of good positive things about it mm -hmm. um next we're going to be playing bounce and catch this is a brand new game a uh, couple days ago i don't know which one do i plug it into this i one. have no idea there you go okay it's so always a good time load that up you may or may not be able to do it with the uh paddles sometimes it's tricky sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't want to click uh, yeah batari knows about that i've already told him mm. so you have to unplug them. Don't move them. Oh, this is very annoying. You have to kind of plug it in after. There we go. Okay, it's a couple days old. Uh, um, he's actually rebuilding this game. He's in the chat today mm. um, from scratch. This is made in um, Batari Basic. Um, but he's going to be making this, remaking this in, in assembly. Mm. So basically, uh, you bounce the ball, hit the thing, okay, and that's it. And if you miss it, it goes down eight, seven. Oh, right. So you get, how? So you have to angle. See if you um, catch it on certain parts of your. There you go. Now you got the hang of it. Oh, oh totally missed it. So this build is from yesterday. It's a 4K game. Uh, uh, games he's made, Bounce and Catch and Don't Go. He really likes Pong games or Bouncing mm. Ball games because the other one, Don't Go, is the things where you can move all four at once. Top, bottom, left, and right. It was a self-Pong game to see how many uh, times you could hit it. This is another type of bouncy ball game. And I think he wasn't very satisfied uh, with the paddle at the bottom because it's made up of two characters and i think he couldn't get around that in uh basic oh it restarts if you miss the ball ah okay yeah that so makes you sense get one that life. makes sense you, you get, get one, one life, life? Yeah. yeah for yeah soon now it restarts right so you yeah okay that makes sense neat oh i like the uh, your imagination oh yeah <laughs> sorry people. sorry yeah i thought i switched it but i just switched it from us to us mm-hmm Thank you for highlighting your message and letting me know. Can't see the screen? We can't see! Game video, please! That's right. Just use your imagination. It's it's a very... It's, it's a virtual game. Oh, damn it. Uh, instructions. Every bounce adds one point. When you catch a target, you get 100 times the target value. So oh. you get 600, 900... It's very it's hard horrible. to get nine. Because it, every you, time you, you touch well, it... Well, um, I find you... It's, it's more... Oh. So close. There you go. <laughs> You're mostly going to get oh. that. <laughs> I love that when you get it on the edge of yours, mm. it goes blip straight to the right. If you hit it right on the edge. Uh, it's cute. It adds I like it. Three, if you catch it when the ball is going down, it adds three times that score. Really? Oh. So you get more points if you hit it down, which is kind of a lot harder to do. Mm. But hitting it up is more like you are aiming at it. Although missing it entirely, just jittery just paddles. Oh, they're getting better. They're a little, now. they're a little jittery. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, Actually, no, it's pretty steady. So close there. Paddles are just jittery. That's yeah. what they're like. Yeah. They're forty years old. You have to give them a break. <laughs> <laughs> they have old bones. Yeah, we understand that. Br jittery bones. Jittery bones is correct. Uh, 
Uh, as the new target appears immediately after you got, get one, the nine target only lasts until the ball bounces again. If you were going down, it lasts for less than a second. Then, if you're lucky, you catch to catch a nine. Yeah, nine is very hard to get. I mean, what happens if he goes to one? Does it just stay I don't know. On I, I, I should see if I can do that. Yeah, I mean, that's hard to do even... It's hard to miss it, right? No, no, it's... No? It's yeah, easier to miss I'm it? I'm missing it. Okay. I'm trying to purposely. Because you get a point for each bounce, with this, which is really nothing. Ah! <laughs> what if you can catch it again if you follow follow along? No, you Probably can't. Not. You're you're kind of screwed. Oh, you almost got a nine on the. I've got down. nines. It's not that hard. It's just no? it's just getting it's just lucky. lucky. Yeah, because yeah, you don't know where it, where it's going to appear. I use electrical contact cleaner on my paddles. Uh, it goes to zero eventually. Oh, so you get zero. Points. Nothing, but okay. you're still in the game because yeah. See when that happens, <laughs> you have to catch. Got it a nine right away there. Yeah. Trying to go, get to zero, I, I actually have to get to zero. You have to try hard to get to zero. I know, it's so funny. It's it's such it's such a good concept. I like I'm it. I'm amazed that somebody hasn't thought of this before. Yeah. But you know, like there's hitting bricks, there's you know just number <laughs> of bounces, but there's not. You don't see too many moving. I got it on the downslope there. On the nine. Yeah. Oh. One point. Two points. Um, so he says, after finishing Don't Go, which was written in assembly, 2K, I wanted to learn uh, Batari Basic, and I selected another one of my 10-liner mini-games for the Atari 8-bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got zero? Yeah. I missed it. They use paddle controllers. <sighs> so this is actually a port of his own game that he made on the Atari 8-bit computer. Uh, that game was written in Atari Basic, and it used two hardware players, a ball and a pad, and a play field number to catch and score. I used a lot of tricks to manage the players and simulate the parabolic movement. So the basic code is very obfuscated that it cannot be copied and pasted in Batari basic source code. And I had to start from scratch again. For the 2600, I thought I could use one player for the ball and one for the pad. But I also needed one for the counter to catch because I cannot use Batari basic manage play field for that exclu extremely low resolution. Solution, try a multiplayer kernel. New problem, can't read paddles in multiplayer kernel. New solution, use the 2600 ball object as the pad and let the players be the bouncing ball on the floating counter. Programming was simple, but the result was a very small pad. Eight color clocks or, eight, or pixels. And the horizontal resolution for the pad about 80, half of the screen width. To increase the pad size, I just had to move, I just had one more sprite element available, a missile. I just set it up like the ball object and provide both 16 color clocks for a pad, not a curved curved one, and with two colors, the missile repeats its corresponding player color. Oh. That was a good run. I managed to t t change and test all the available fonts for the score by defining the font constant as the number of the selected fonts. Um, and there's more technical information if we want to read about that. I also found that the score in Batari Basic is quite hard to manage because the parser, compiler, expects expects bcd binary coded decimal uh values to add and it interprets numeric numeric literals as binary uh bcd to add constant to the value to the score but i wanted to add a variable variable value so there's a lot of lot of uh stuff in there my turn not many too many people learn assembly first and then learn Atari basic afterwards mm. that would be true yeah oh got eight Got a good job. I find this, it. This it's it's actually, good, actually quite a lovely game to play. It's very um, fairly slow. Not it's too relaxing. Hectic. It's it's yeah. just it just kind of slowly bounces oh, and it's not stressful. You're no. just trying to like bounce it in the direction of the balloon that's going by <laughs> and yeah, the floaty balloon. The floaty balloon. Oh. Oh, oh what a score did I get? Not I don't good. know. Can't remember. My was my best score was ten thousand, ish. I mean, it it still ish. needs sound. That's about it. <laughs> Some something in the just background. Some sound. Even just Boing. a, a Boing. like a little pop noise when it oh. hits the. Yeah. Yeah. Oh nine. Oh, we got a nine job. and an eight. Yeah, just doing, just relaxing sound. I mm -hmm. think. And then pop. Can't really make a pop, so can it you? I don't know. A, you can probably there's probably something there. No sound in the DB version, yeah. No, no, no sound. 
Circus Atari sound oh, needs to be added. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, you could just copy dun, that. Dun, 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 dun. I was co commenting to James on the music just before we started. I'm like, what? why is it playing Rule Britannia in the background? And you mentioned... Look at that. Did I get a nine, like, instantly? Yeah, I or, think you did. Sometimes you get lucky. Um, I think it's... Watch the, watch the number at the top. Hmm? I think it changes to nine and then moves, rather okay. than move and change to nine. Oh, you got a nine there. Nice. I swear I saw it, unless it was just... Oh, I don't know. No, um, it's, it wasn't. But I you were was... saying that's in Ultima, Rule Britannia. Yeah, they use that in the Ultima series as music mm -hmm. in certain versions of it. That's funny. In uh, Lord British's Castle, I believe. I was just waiting for God Save the Queen. Well, I don't think that's in the game. No. <laughs> Cause, cause it's all video... It was just, I was like, that's it's a all, weird game. It's all so... video game music. Yes, I, I get that. From, uh, uh, yeah, I just didn't realize The that. C64. Yeah. And I play C64 music. Oh, there's a zero. Before the show, because I don't know of a radio station that plays Atari 8-bit music. Oh. This is a very nice game. It's very relaxing. It's not stressful. Mm-mm. Because for the most part... It's not too hard to get the ball. The hard part is aiming it. Yeah, getting it to bounce exactly on the angle you want it to. Yeah, I mean, you, it gets a it, it's fast. almost if you just focus on not letting the not letting the ball, the bouncing ball fall. Yeah, you'll, you'll eventually, eventually get it <laughs> by randomness. Yeah. or you know you're you're but trying a little nice. bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a nice simple game. I like the font for the score yep. at the bottom. Nice kind of seventies style. And if you look at the ball, it's three, I think it's three frames. It's nice. got kind of shininess mm. at two parts. And then one, there's, two, three, one, and two, I think three. there's yeah, a frame right. where there's nothing. Vitoko 8-bit, stop pressing the button? I'm not. I'm not pressing the button. What happens when they press the button? <laughs> it doesn't do anything different. Vitari <laughs> mm. Base at the score font. I like the score font. I like that. Stop pressing the button. What what do you think is happening when I'm? Is it because the it's flashing the paddle at the bottom? No, I mean that's that's one of the things he doesn't like about this, and that's why he's going to be redoing it in assembly. Mm. I think, but uh, no, we're not pressing the button. Could just be the uh, flashiness of the the bottom paddle. I don't know. Not sure. Well, he'll have to say why he thinks we're pressing the button. Mm. Anyway, it's probably a lot more fun to uh, play than Stop watch. Stop pressing for restart and let us take note of the score. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I see. I see. Oh. I see. So you can see the score. Yeah. So you're going to have to do frame grabs. <laughs> <laughs> Slow it down. But you just want to start playing again as soon as you, yeah. as soon as you die. Yeah. It's, I, I don't even saying. really... I care about the score it's just fun <laughs> it's, just, it's just a fun uh oh. here you go 45 10 yeah because they're probably like how how did how high did you? oh look at that 900 points i didn't get it on the down so if you get it on down it's it three times that's 27 you have points. done that i've seen that yeah that's a ton yeah but there is definitely an element of uh oh randomness um uh, yeah of luck yeah because getting a nine on the down is yeah. like you didn't aim for that Oh, the bar flicker is one of the reasons to rewrite it. Yeah. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not bad playing it, but I, I kind of get that. It, I can it see does why it would a, be annoying. It is a little flashy, yeah. It looks good, though. I like, like it. I like uh, the um the feel of it is really good. Like, the, yeah. the movement and the feel is... Um, Just a really long boing. Yeah. Of course, that's hard to do on a 2600. Yeah, it's got the right... Graduated um, notes is not a thing. 2600 does inherently. Yeah. It's got a nice... Um, what do you call that? feel to it no the curve or the bounce Parabola. of the ball <laughs> arc not... yeah gravity no no none of those things are what <laughs> i'm looking for things. oh the, um, the look of the ball no or the movement? no the physics of the ball feel yeah, really physics. good yeah but it's realism? that's not the word i'm looking for but i can't think of it realism right now. i'm i my brain uh, is flashing back to my first year physics in university and i can't think of it uh, accuracy? No, no, don't, don't even try. <laughs> Can you describe what you're no, trying to say? No, no, it's just the, the movement. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't, it's just the, the term is not in my brain right now. Hmm. 
Nine on the down. Woo! Woo! Good job. Okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll retire on this one. Oh, uh, yeah, just as he dies. I'll let you okay. have one more to go. All right. I thought I was going to get a good score because I got a nine on the down, but no, I died right afterwards. <laughs> I made up a graphic for bounce and catch. I I, I like doing the um, cartridge little, graphics oh, for these games because it gives me practice on Photoshop. And I did like um, a blur, it was a, a camera or movement blur, and and then put the ball on top of the movement blur. blur and it looks like the ball ball is. And then I did a warp on the blur, so it had an arc to it. And it worked pretty good. And I put some like oh. chalk kind of base text on it. Another reason is a low resolution of the paddles in BB, right? DB, DB, BB, BB, Atari Basic. Atari Basic. Boing. Boing. It's your last game. Make a count. Don't stress me out. <laughs> One. That means you get 100 points. I or... get something. Yeah. So you get three times the score of anything that it goes backwards. Oh. oh. Good stuff. Yeah. I wonder if the bar flicker is on purpose. It's an effect. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you could say it is, but he doesn't want it. <laughs> I don't effect. mind it. I don't mind it. Yeah, it's, it's totally it's fine. A lovely, it's a lovely game. Very, very nice. And then we switch back to this. Mm -hmm. You could have gotten two purple ones. I could have, but I didn't. It's such a cool, it's such a cool. Yep, it is. Mm. The Ed Ladd, and this is the first one off the line that has these this purple and the uh, smoke mm. gray. So if you like those, they are available now. They just became available. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is 79 Pompeii by Andre G.F. and Tunes. If that is how you say it, I hope it is, but Ooh. it's not probably. So, uh, you are trying to avoid disaster. Actually, he has his own cartridge graphics that I didn't notice. Hmm. So I'm going to use that instead. There we go. That's his. No. Why make up very, my own? Very similar to yours. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's yeah. the guy. Yeah. It's, it's the those things. I mean, it's an obvious. I put an yeah. extra building and I put a uh, blur mm -hmm. so it looked like it was out of focus in the background. Yeah, it's those added touches. <laughs> um, oh, so this is a very quiet game. Let me turn it up. So what am I doing? You're escaping disaster. What am I escaping? The... Vesuvius, Mount Vesuvius. This is set in 79, um, the year 79. Oh my god. What's going on? You're in a house. Uh, so let me read the instructions. 79 Pompeii is an adventure style game set in the ancient city of Pompeii during the volcanic eruption that destroyed it in the year 79. The objective is to escape before everything is destroyed. The place is in chaos. Paths are all blocked and there are many perils. Any mistake could be fatal. In, in, in order to advance and win, the player must explore the city, collect important items, avoid attacks from bandits and animals, avoid dangerous situations. I don't use... understand. How do I get out of this room? Oh, we're not there yet. I don't know. Press a button, press up, press down, explore all the corners. Go off the screen. Oh, down. Okay. Uh, avoid tax from bands and animals. Avoid dangerous situations. Use items correctly. Make intelligent choices. Observe the earthquakes. Find an exit. Run. Don't be attacked. I don't know what's attacking me. <laughs> I don't know yet. Either. Um, so he says, finally, I've always had the dream of creating an Atari 2600 game. Here it is. It wouldn't be possible without the Atari Age community. Thank you. Thank you all. What was that? What'd you get? I don't know. Ladder. You got a ladder. Which does what? I don't know yet. I will be reading more out as we go on. So I'm going to read more about what we're seeing on the screen here. 
I guess those people are people fleeing. They're going really crazy. <laughs> Running for their lives. Run! Okay, so uh, the player is obviously that guy that you're controlling. Uh, NPCs are the solidly colored people. Uh, your lives are in the bottom left, the pink. Uh, your inventory is at the bottom. Ah, ah. And you have the selective item is the one you have. So you have the ladder selected right now. I understand. I don't understand. And he says the select switch is a secret passage, which I don't understand yet. So I can press game select. Do anything here. Now you went in a building. How did you go in a building? I did, but I don't seem to be able to get into it now. So okay. I obviously got the ladder from the building. So the items are stylized in the scene. You can't get inside the houses houses with the stairs. This guy is bad. I'm guessing don't walk on the fire. Yeah, but it's like oh. what? What's that thing? You have to rescue it? Oh, did something. I don't know. That's like a big statue. Oh, what's that? It's like a guy sitting down. Yeah. It does select and unselect oh. your ladder by pressing the button, it looked like. No. It's flashing. I'm not sure what that means. Can you rescue that guy? I don't know. And get this. Is that a house you can get into? Are you try to go to the house and press to the left? No. Okay. So there's three screens vertically. <laughs> the the, um, the programmer says you will die. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. <laughs> Andre says you will die. I guess it's it's oh it's getting darker. Oh, I see. Time is. It's, Time's I'm running sure out. it's timed. Well, try and explore all the screens. I'm just very confused. Well, keep stop going back to the same screens. Well, no, I'm not trying what? to. I'm trying to see where, whether there's places to go. Maybe we should look at it this way. At least you're not E.T. You're fall, randomly falling into pits. <laughs> that would be frustrating. But... Uh, I mean, clearly time is passing <laughs> and I'm going to die. Yeah. But I'm just... Looks that that volcano looks this... angry. Not sure what that thing is. Looks like a dog that's trapped. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I died. Either the volcano erupted or that thing bit you. Oh yeah. I might be missing something. So. Here, I'll show you the um, the web page. You can read through it some more. Yeah. Sometimes it helps if you know the instructions. But I think I read almost everything out. Oh, we still have one life. Ooh, that guy's sketchy. NPCs, players, there's a selected item on the left, and your inventory. Oh, look at that. Yeah. If I hold down the button, it changes oh. into something else. Oh, okay. So what's selected is on the left, and what's yeah. in your inventory is on the right. So yeah. you have a ladder. You can pick it or not pick it. Look at that. I don't know what that is. If I'm moving, and it changes it. I will tell you in a moment. Yeah, pressing the button cycles through it more about trying to figure out the game, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, ah, fighting against the people. Ah, 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 somebody's attacking me. Ah, uh, 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 run. Oh, that screen is death. Oh, look, it's coming down. Look at all the, the volcanic ash is coming down now. That's really cool. Ooh, there's fire all over the place on this screen. So maybe if I select this thing, this thing will like me. Oh, no. It doesn't like me at all. With no. That. Whatever that is. <laughs> You have to use that ladder, but to use that, you need a key. Yeah. There's obviously more stuff you need to find. So. Well, look at all the things. Oh. There's like a key, Quite a fish. Wait a bit. A money. Yeah. Something that looks like it's on fire. A spear. Okay. Let's start this again. There is a speed run on YouTube, but... Oh, um, okay. I didn't watch that. Clearly, we have not watched that. Um, well, we wouldn't want to spoil it. No, you want to kind of figure it out. Oh, I got in. Ah, oh, dog's attacking me. I got in that house. The dog ate me. Oh, what? Nightmare. We're not playing nightmare. No. This is hard enough. We're not playing nightmare mode. No. I want to go in that house again. 
So I figured out something. Oh. See, I was able to get in the house easy. Dogs are lethal. Good to know. Good to yeah, know. Yeah, they definitely are. How did you find that area? So you go over here. Yeah. Go up here. Go up here. And you walk and you walk in the house. I couldn't walk it. Oh, because I had the ladder chosen. I think yeah, just, the dog is going to kill you. You have to be very you. precise on where you have to be to walk left. And mm. So I'm not going to that house anymore because it's dead. There's probably something like a sword. Yeah. That you can use to so kill. That the... thing kills you. Don't don't run so into it. I'm not going to run into that guy. He's he, trapped. He appears to be in a cage. This guy. He's an NPC. Does he give you something? He's no. an NPC. Okay, I'm not that house is death dog. Ah, get the fish to give to the dog. He's giving us hints. Well, we need them. That guy attacks me. They're NPCs. Though, no, a lot of no them. that guy was bad. Oh. If I go this way, he will kill me. Okay, that gives you the ladder. That house, that apparently, house? somewhere, how, somehow. Oh, it's a different house. Okay. Interesting. Oh, oh, you got a liar. So I have to search? Is that how you do it? Maybe. You got a liar. Maybe that's... Hmm. So is that So that's symbol. So now you've got it. How do we get out of here? Which I suppose may pull people to s put dogs or oh, something to sleep, but... Uh, There's the right-hand side to get out. Yeah. I'm going to try... Oh, not that guy. Uh, use it on get out of here without getting the dog to go to another screen there's no okay. exits up yeah that's what I find a little confusing is you it's hard to tell Forward. exactly what direction to go I think I can go left and then down <gasps> nope. oh am I trapped in that area hmm. okay well at least I'm out of there but I don't have the thing anymore when you die, you lose your stuff. Hey, dude. Those houses are actually places in Pompeii. That's very cool. Oh. Oh. That's where so you that's get the where ladder. That's the ladder. It looks the ladder like a ladder. Thing. Okay. Yeah. It definitely represents what, what's there. This is where you get the liar. Oh, I can go down here now. I guess I have to be in the right spot. Yeah. Oh, I have to be very level to the house. Or not. Is that a different house? Do things change from game to game? Apparently. Hitting the button just it picks your object, so... Yeah, so don't bother. I don't think you want an object right now. Are you pressing the button? No, I'm not doing anything. Oh, it keeps flashing. You have the you have the ladder chose, picked, so unpick, unpick it. Unpick it? There. No. No. Hmm. This is different. I wasn't able to go down before. It's like a different area. Hmm. Uh, 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 people are running. Uh, 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 no! I'm running from him. But I can't go down or up. Can you go up in the left? Uh, the left side? Uh, no. Oh, dogs! Dogs. <laughs> Everybody's fleeing. I can go down. Oh, and then I can go over. Okay. There's the dog. No. Oh, my no, God. No! You're not supposed to purpose. run into him! I didn't do that on purpose. You, you can't unpick the stairs. You are probably going to die. <laughs> that is hilarious. Why do you keep saying that we're probably going to die? <laughs> So mean. Well, we're, we're figuring well, things out bit by bit. Yeah. It takes a bit of time. So we have the That's ladder. That's what's fun about ad adventure games. You're yeah. not supposed to figure them out immediately. So. I can't get in this house anymore. You and don't I want was. the ladder, though. You already no, have unselected. the ladder. Yeah. It keeps flashing, though. Okay, well, let's down. go down, over, over, then up. Maybe, maybe I can get something here. Is button search, or do you just run into things and get things? Mm -hmm. That didn't help. Controls. No. Anything here? No. Oh, another house. This is a dog house, right? Death dog. How come I can't get into houses right now? Select item is keep pressed. Okay, yeah. Yeah, holding it down will select it and unselect it. Up, down, left, right, and then holding it selects your item. That's it. Right. That's it. The, the button doesn't doesn't do anything. You stated earlier you can't go in houses with the ladder. But I can't get rid of the ladder. Yeah. You have oh, to that's... find something else. So I have to not get the not ladder. Not get the ladder. Oh. And you can't restart the game. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Let's not get the ladder. Mm -hmm. So don't touch that. Because that's the ladder. Okay, now let's get the liar thing. So we do mm -hmm. have to press the button, right? There's no liar here. Oh. The houses change. Yeah. That's a fish. Can I get Is the... there a fish? 
Oh, yes, you got the fish. Good job. So you do press the button. And then you can use the fish for that attacky dog. Yes. So that is over, down, over, over. Oh! Oh! oh. He saved you. Oh. Hi, right, puppy. No, don't touch him. <laughs> Does it work on this dog? I don't know. Oh, I don't have the fish anymore. No, you used it. Can I go in this house? <gasps> oh. Ah, run away! Okay. Well, we figured out one thing. <laughs> Don't get the stairs before you know what to do with it. Yeah, so don't okay. get the ladder until you know. Oh. Ah! You have to figure out where things are. That's part of the problem. You must be holding the fish. Okay, so let's go. Looks like it started over. Yeah, get the fish. Let's go get that fish. Get that fish. Ah! ah. Don't get the ladder. Get the fish. Got there we it. go. And he says hold it so don't don't go near that first dog you want it he for ran the at me. second dog oh we did i can't help it oh but can you go up no Ugh. can i go get the fish again and what was in that room oh where is there he anything was? to get in that oh. room oh no he's gone what it, he reset you have to do it right away i guess right oh weird so let's go get the fish again no don't get that ladder Fish again. Can you? Yeah. Okay. So mm. you can get re-get items. That's good. So don't hold the fish when you go in the room. Don't hold the fish. Don't hold the fish. Don't hold the fish. Don't oh. hold the fish. Go in the room and then try to get to the other room with the, the other with... dog. Ah! He still goes after you. And he kills me. Huh. He knows I have a fish. He's like the cats. <laughs> the cats will go after you if they know you have treats. Hold, hold. Hold, hold. <laughs> he says. <laughs> Good times. Uh -huh. Good times. <laughs> Speaking of the cats. Okay, let me get the fish again. Okay. okay I'm gonna hold the fish. But can I get to that other place quick enough with the dog? You have to be on the road. Ah! Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Uh huh. Here, doggy. Did it. What? The dog kills me anyway? He ate my fish and then wants more. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, so I made it to that house. You did? The dog ate the fish and then went after me again. Oh no! He's like, give me more fish. I yeah. didn't have a fish. Now I can't get another fish. No, go down to the bottom right. That's where you got it before. No? I you have to push and hold the button. Don't no. You? No? Push and hold. There you go. The hell? Okay. Okay. Gonna try. Oh my god. No, not this way. This way. Cat games. This dog. Now I'm gonna go in this little area and search. Because apparently this was what the guard dog was guarding, right? Yeah. I don't know. No? Nothing here. And in the statue? No? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just buys you time. Mm. Hold the fish or you'll die. Go. You have to go down. Enter the other room. Go down. In that room. Get the fish. Hit. Hold it. There you go. Go down. No. This just exits. You have to hit the button, kitten. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, and the... Oh, good kitty! What is the point of that? Because if you don't have the fish, it doesn't go after you. But the other fish goes after you. Let's start searching for more things. There. Look at that. That's where you oh, get you fat. Oh, you found it! Oh, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it does something. I'm going to use it in here. I'm going to use it for this dog. If I can get in here. Does that work? Oh, it... No, it doesn't. I wasn't holding it. I think you're hitting in the buddy button in the room which unholds the fish. Good kitty. We're getting somewhere. Where? I don't know what, but we are getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. We have located three items now. The fish, the ladder, and the other thing. Not sure how you exactly which spot. It's 
weird. Oh, wrong way. Down, over, give it to the dog. Was I not holding it? Mm. Must have to fish to cross the room into the house to reach the other room in the bottom of the so screen. So you, you can't run into the dog. You have to avoid the dog, I think. Good kitty. Once more. Oh, you have to be facing left to get the fish. Are you training the cat for rest? <laughs> there you go. Oh, to get across to the other house to the left? No. There's nothing to the left. Or down. Or there. Hmm. Maybe it means to get to this. Okay. Now let's hold this and go look at the dog. Don't give the fish to the first dog. That's what I keep saying. You have to avoid it. You okay. have to avoid the first dog. And then what? And then run to get to that room. I did that once. Yeah. I gave him the fish. He yeah. ate it. And then No, no, no. You don't. Which dog? The black dog? Dog the second in the dog? Dog in the house. You want to avoid the first dog. Yes, that's And correct. then give the fish to the second dog. That's correct. I did that. And what happened? He ate it. Yeah. And then attacked me. Oh. And then I died. That's so, what uh, Repo um, is basically saying. Don't give the fish to this first dog. Oh, he ate it and I didn't even have it selected. <laughs> So he, oh, he my eats kittens. it out. Oh, dang, dang, dang. <laughs> At least I know how to get the fish easy now. Yeah. You have to go to the, you have to be left. Okay. Now what to do to get, avoid the dog is be very, very high up on the screen, but still in the brown. Okay, yes, yes. Ah! There you go. It's so hard to avoid that dog. He, uh, we have created a pick, uh, Atari monster. Atari monster? Yeah. yeah. You gonna hit the bell? How do you, you can't. The dog's too fast. It goes straight for you and don't have enough time. Yes, RC70, we're training Atari to reset. <laughs> yeah. It's a slow process, but we'll we'll get it there. Yeah. We'll get him there. He can rage slowly reset. Slowly move the the, uh, the, the treats the to, treat the, to, to the, the reset, reset button. button. Yeah. Uh, or we'll wire an external reset button. <laughs> He's getting that's good all, at that's it. That's attached to that bell. Yeah, no kidding. With an automatic food dispenser. Okay. This is... I have the fish. Watch. It's so fast. Oh, you can. You, you just can. go over up, straight up. Don't mess around. So should I get this thing now? Now I've got those things. Now he says go in the room and, and do what? Have the fish, cross the room in the house, reach the other room in the bottom of the screen. Okay. This room. Yeah. In, inside the house. So you've got it in your hand. Yep. But then what do you do after that? That's the torch you have to light. Oh, okay. With fire. With fire. Should I go do that? I don't know. Oh, what is this? It's a key. That's a key. That's a key. Get the key. Add the key. Push and hold. Go on the key. I can't. No? no. You can't go around it? Me. No. Can't what? go in the water. Ugh. <sighs> Right push now. and hold. Push and hold? No? no. What button are you pressing? There's only one button. That's the red button. <laughs> it's only one button. It's a 2600. It's only one button. Yeah, but I thought it was the red. Anyway. It is the red. But no, it's not the red. Or it's both. They're both wired up. Which oh, is I see. Pretty awesome, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to head for the, ex the other room. Okay. Go down in the house. Other statue? Mm. Other statue. Okay, you ready? Watch, this dog's gonna attack me. Oh, you want the fish? And kill me. Run, 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 run! Oh, oh! I see. The square is That's a door. That's a sword. That's a sword. The square is a door. Yeah, you got a sword. Hi, little baby. <gasps> is that a kitty? Oh. Money? Money? Do I want or a baby? Money or baby? What do I want? I don't know. Probably money? How did I have money? Maybe I want the baby. I have to rescue the baby, probably. I don't know. There's nothing to buy yet in this game. Nothing here. But I have a sword, which is pretty awesome. Where'd my money go? 
Money or baby. You get money or baby. Okay. But if you push the button, you lose it. Oh, oh. no, it's baby. Oh, uh, I guess. The baby is in your inventory. Oh, okay. Or money. Or I can have the money. Huh. Oh, and the torch? Money and sword. It looks like you're killing and resurrecting the baby, <laughs> maybe. Dead and resurrect. Yeah, it looks like a pile of bones. Yeah. Alive, baby! I don't know. What do you think? Baby or money? Let's rescue the baby. That seems more like something you should do. So is the dog going to be there now? Ah! You have the sword. If you had the sword in your hand, maybe you would have killed it. It ate the baby. You gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there. Oh, you have the sword still. Let's put it in my hand. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's go up to that fountain Try. thing oh. now. What did, what did they say? Maybe go by the statue? This one? Oh, I still have the baby. Yeah, you do. And the sword. I would keep the sword in your hand. Yeah. The key, though, I don't know. Can't get the key right now. Mm. Give the baby to the dog. <laughs> uh, um. mm, that's questionable. <laughs> so I, this is like a dead end. Uh -oh. <laughs> Give the baby to the dog. That's cruel. Yes. <laughs> agreed. Agreed. Uh, okay. Maybe give, I don't know, the money to the person who's just hanging around. Oh, but I don't have the money. Or the baby. I'm sure there's there's like uh, historical relevance to all of these items, but <laughs> yeah. Light the torch. I uh, guess you have to light it with fire, though. Yeah, there's fire here, so let's get the torch in my hand. Yeah, there you nice. go. Nice. Torch is lit. Now I have to light something with the torch. Is there a? Is it this? Is it over here? Is it this dude to have to light? Have to light the water on fire? No. Nope. I have to go up here, light that on fire? Nope. Fight that guy? Should I fight that oh, guy? Oh, maybe. I'm gonna die. Probably. Oh, he let you pass. <gasps> oh, because you got a sword. You've nice. got power now. Hooray! Something! What's this house? New! Oh, the liar. There you go. Got a liar. Yay! Now. Is this nothing? 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 Puella? Puella? Says something. Like oh my god. It's getting bad out. Uh, yep. Oh, here oh, comes the oh, ash. Oh, the, mul the ash. The volcanic ash is coming. Oh, I gotta be on this sword. There we yeah, go. There. He respects me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> torch, maybe. Ooh, 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 it's bad. Uh, so got the sword? We need the ladder yet. Well, you can cycle with the ladder, but I don't know. Ladder must be last. Ah! ah! Got the baby. No, sword. Sword. Uh, maybe I have to give the baby to these people? They're no, fleeing. No, no. Here, you want the baby? Want the baby? Try the sword. I, I was on the sword. Yeah, they don't care. They, they're just running. It's a cool effect. That's the ladder. Light. Get the key. Light, Light the torch. Get, get the, the key. key. Oh, what the hell is happening? You have the sword. Oh god, I didn't. Even, I looked away. I thought it was safe. You're better off with the sword in in all Defending circumstances. Defending myself with the baby. Oh, you have to light your uh, torch. Oh god, it went out. Come back here. What the hell? There you go. There we go. Back to the sword, please. Still have the baby, though. There we go. Okay, go get the key now, right? Oh, have to, key the, was... have to be on the road. With the... I'm going to put the baby in the water. Right? Right? Is that what you do? So you put the baby <laughs> Drown somewhere? the baby in the water? I don't know. No, he has to float away to safety. <laughs> He'll be safe. Oh, there we go. The torch. I the did torch? It. I lit something. They still don't have a key. Though. Or maybe that was the volcano doing something. You push and hold. Oh, it just cycles when you do that. So you can't get around the key? Can't get below the key? Mm, nope. What about the, the statue? Pushing and holding on the statue. Oh, it does. I don't know if it's doing anything. Like Moses put the baby in a basket. Exactly, mm. that's what I was thinking, but it doesn't, doesn't work. 
Uh, different story. <laughs> different story. Oh, it changed something. Or maybe the water's gone bad. It's just colors have changed. Pressing? The key looks uh, deformed now. I yeah, it's all broken. I don't know. Oh, and the, there's a break in the water thing now. Yeah. Weird. It's all it's all crumbling. It's all falling apart. Oh, and the statue's falling down. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. That is really cool. The buildings are falling. Yes. Ah. It's very cool. Wow. Like it looks like I lit it. I don't know if that's the <laughs> volcano doing it. I can't get the key. No, then don't. But he Try says get the else. key. Try something else. <laughs> Let the, light the key on fire. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, that guy's oh, dead. Poor dude. Oh no. Here, I'll That's not a good sign. Burn you so you have a good funeral. There. <laughs> I've been in there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the sword just in case. Yeah. Try the other statue. The first one. Most game dogs just want a bone. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Not a fish. The first. This statue. Oh, the dog is dead. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. No. Can't like maybe it's too late. Maybe everything is like Maybe. It is quite an interesting game though. It really the fact is. that it evolves as time goes on. Mm. More fire. Oh, gonna be on my sword. Should I get the ladder? He doesn't say anything about the ladder. No, it must be the last one. Try thing the you first get. one. The other statue. Which statue? You will definitely die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you definitely die. <laughs> so there's a point That's in okay. this. There's a point in this game where it's like no. No, it's you've got to. way too late. How do you light his head on fire? It's here, maybe. How do you use these things? You just sh short presses. Mm. Mm. Can't do it. Okay, your turn. Start again. You know, know you know what to do. What are you... He said we'll die, so we might as well start over. I don't even know what I'm doing. Ah. Get the fish, and that guy's fine. He does. He's he's fine. He's just scared. So go in that house. Get the fishies. Hold and move left. button move left there, there we go hey how are you you want to come up here cuddle oh there's paddles cuddles okay it's really hard you have to be at the top of the brown of uh, the road oh no oh i was just going to tell you as soon as you go on that screen move yeah, up yeah instantly. i was trying to but that didn't seem to help <laughs> yeah it's hard it's very hard but you get multiple chances, which is good. Yeah. I think you just have to have them selected and find the spot where it's needed. Yes. Oh, so you don't have to press the button. It just automatically happens. No. No. Oh, yeah. but you, you On go. On and up, immediately. It's incredibly hard because you have to it go. Is. Oh, uh, you have to, you start in the middle of the screen. Do you see where you start? Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> It's very hard, but it's possible. Yeah, you can get that thing. You could light it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well. How am I supposed to light it? I think you do have to press the button. Mm. Try to use your last moments to find the key. I mean, he's not outright telling us what to do, which is kind of good. good. Otherwise, it'd be a lot easier. Oh, look at this black and white cat. This is very rare. This it's is very a rare. very happy cat. We did give him a bunch of um He was not treats. feeling well today. No, he wasn't. So we have to be nice to him. Yeah. Oh. Over and up immediately. Oh, no, you keep moving left. I can't. I can't move. I have to go backwards. Look how far across the screen. Yeah, you move up and to the right as soon as you get like, on the screen. Like, do you see there? You have oh, to go. I, know. It's I, I don't know how you. Oh, that's weird. So that starts right. 
Like you can't cross there. I guess it doesn't matter where you, you go. You over. start there. You always start. Okay, so it doesn't matter. But oh, then you're no. at the bottom. Isn't that weird? So That's start the as best far you get. up. <laughs> it's the best. It's you the get. best you get. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Find a safe place to light it. Oh. So next to it, basically. Right. Mm. Not not standing in the fire. <laughs> So don't stand in the fire. Is what you're saying. To light the torch. What? What? I got the key. How did I get the key? Well, we know where to get the key. Now, now. I do. Bottom, that was entirely by accident. Oh my god. How did I die? Volcano. The fire? Or the fire. We didn't get. We didn't see it. Weird. One life left. Ah! You ran right up to No, it. but it flashed up. I have to stay off the road. <laughs> oh, ah. yeah, that's true. How do I light it? Hold it, maybe. I, I don't know. I didn't seem to have trouble lighting it. Oh, on the edge. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't light it there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. His hints are great. <laughs> You're going to die. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting closer. We have the key now. We'll see if Tiny can do this. Probably not. No! Over and immediately up. Up, up, up. There you go. Actually, it's not that bad. So this I have to run across. It's up. Oh, it's next screen up. Oh. It's next screen up. But then where where do I have to go? Okay. You go in the house and then you go straight down towards that slab in the bottom right. Or bottom left. Down, 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 he's gonna chase you. Get in the slab! What slab? That's Well that, you didn't say like in this. the slab. Yeah. I said, in the slab. You said go to the slab. Go I figured slab. you had to dodge it. No. Not helpful. <laughs> Not helpful. That's okay. But I found the key, and you weren't able to do that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fishy. Oh, I just forgot. Yeah. Well, you start right in the middle. There you go. Actually, it's lots of time. It's just um. You just have to go straight up. Yeah. You just you. you I find you're a little surprised. You where you where you show up in that screen, but once you figure it out, quick! Oh, through the slab. Yeah. There you go. Get the sword and get the baby. I don't. I don't see the need for money in this uh, baby or environment. Money. I don't know, but but there must be. Uh, ch chance of dying is very high. Yes. <laughs> don't Maybe the house with the fireplace. Uh, ah! ah! I needed the sword. Maybe. Yeah, need the sword. Well, Not... you, you keep all the stuff you have, so you're kind of okay. You want to light that. Oh, yeah. You have the baby and you have the... How did you do Above. It, it was slightly above. above. <gasps> nope. <laughs> Money will protect you. Hmm. From people, maybe? So the money's better? So you do it below? Mm, or you just walk yeah. into it. Oh, from, from below? below? Maybe. Well, at least yeah. that worked. Yeah. So go get the money again? No. Well, I don't know. Because. No wonder everybody died in Pompeii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Truth. That's the truth. There's my fish. Lower. Low. No, I was always getting it here. Maybe yeah. you can't get push the fish. Push and hold. Push and hold. I don't know. Maybe it's too late. No. I've got the baby, so... It doesn't really matter. You want the key, though. You want to go back to that key room. Yeah. He doesn't care if you don't have a fish. So it was the base. There you go. There you go. There you go. So that lets me no pass. No fish with sword. Ah. Oh, weird. No fish with sword. So there are certain things you can't get with other, with other things. That kind of makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. Like the ladder. You can't get anything. And when you have the sword, the guy runs away. So, so 
Now what? I've what got... are their screens? Are we missing any screens? We must be. There's the Lara. Oh, all right. Yeah. Do I have it now? Yes. Yep. This chair is in a totally wrong spot. Is it in the, sc in the screen? Or? No. So do I need to light this statue, maybe? This is the other statue. Hmm. Yeah. Is that a, a door? Are those slabs That's doors? That's my exit, yeah. He let me Good out. Good night, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Oh, it's a uh, uh, re repo, repo Harok's game, his first one. His yes, first it game. is. Yeah, Very it's amazing. Cool. It um, is amazing. Amazing adventure game. Yes. That uh, is completely baffling us. Well, I wouldn't say completely <laughs> baffling. We're making yeah. our way. Though you don't want an adventure game to be too easy. You had to give a lot of hints. Yeah, but yeah. we would have. We we're figuring it out too. Yeah. I, 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 you just you don't want it to be too easy. So. So, maybe I give the money to that guy? I don't know. He looks like he needs money. Uh, what about running. that guy? Is it, uh, go back to the, the the dog screen. Can you light that? Oh, right. Maybe? Because this is the other statue they kept talking about. That no, looks like a you, torch. You, 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 the statue he was talking about was for the key. Oh. No. Dog does step back a, a bit every time I press the button. He keeps moving back. Look at him. He's going off. Yeah. Bye. Bye, doggy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Nothing to light in here, it looks like. Uh, the ladder. I could light this thing. What are you doing, cat? He's being weird. He is being weird. You can try getting the ladder. Uh, I guess. last thing mm. maybe i need it to climb up somewhere to light something right <gasps> Whoa. what what did i what the fire just burned all my crap yeah what Apparently. am i missing now your torch no i've got torch no <gasps> no sword where's your sword the fire burnt my sword no oh my did god it? yeah i don't have a sword which means instant death on one screen i can't get back in this house now because you have the ladder because i have the ladder Ah! <laughs> yeah, it took me some time to refine. Uh, this is very complex, which is nice to see on the 2600. It reminds me of Raiders 2600. It was very perplexing at first. Yeah, we'll do one more. One Kay. more try. I don't think we necessarily have to solve it. I no. actually think there's quite a bit of complexity in this game, which is nice. We're, did a we're lot. slowly figuring stuff out, which is cool. Yep. Fishy. Get the fishy. There's a cat right here. Can you see uh, him? Yeah, you can see can him. You? He's perching. He's perching. What are you doing there? This game doesn't have diagonals. No? It, I keep trying to do diagonals when I'm the dog comes, but I, I keep dying. Oh, there's a lot inside the game, even time travel. Ooh, I'm very what? intrigued right now. So I'm going to have money. I'm going to keep the money. Yeah, get the sword. Don't forget. Oh, you have the yeah, sword. But I should put that it on. That could be a fireplace. I don't know. Maybe you, oh, you light the maybe. fireplace there. Yep. What's going on? Drop, oh. to, drop the the screen, the tablet. Oh, that's fine. That's my tablet. Your tablet. Oh, it's fine. It's your tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Didn't fall very far. give it to me? You want it? Yeah. It didn't fall very far. Light the torch from below. <gasps> How do you light the torch? At least you keep it. Ugh. The cat's... Cat is chatting, apparently. Oh, cat. Game <laughs> so... over. What? Did, did I die that quick? Yep. <sighs> One more, then. What that was too doing, quick. Buddy? It's doing? acting up, which is not a good sign. No, there's treats around. That's why. Oh, that's what's going on. Oh, maybe on. you can light your uh, torch in that fireplace, too. Maybe oh, that uh, maybe. stops you from burning up. I didn't pick up the torch. Eh. There you go. Yeah, I just needed to touch it. Get the money. Forget the baby. Get this. <gasps> get the sword. 
Stop the dog. Anything in here? No, I better not because it'll un unsword cat. What what about that guy? Oh yeah, the money. You give the money. Well, to I the guy? I always have the money, so that's kind of good. No. No. Doesn't want money. Want money? Monies? No. Okay. You get no money then. No idea how to light the thing. Just stand on the screen. Be close to it. Be above it. Be next to it. Be below it. Press the button. Oh! It's there, was not, a, there was a... It's not happening. Uh, the lighting is not Diagnose happening. hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> Overgato, thanks. It's only um, 79 uh, AD. Find a safe fire. Poor baby. Leave baby in crib. Save self. <laughs> <laughs> There's fireplace a... fire. Yeah, using the fireplace fire is probably safer. Should I run into it? I don't know. It's not doing it. No. Eh, it's worth a try. Fireplace fire. Oh, it did oh, work. Oh, it did work. <laughs> you just have to go from above. There you go. Can I get the fish again? What's that? It's like a face on the upper part there. But... Yeah. And there's a can't table get... and chairs. Can't get the face. No, that's okay. Can't get food from here. There's no other room. No other doors. Oh, screen shake is great. I like it. Yep. Okay. We get the key now. Ooh, let's stay off the road. Yep. Which is over he up here and over here. Key there is go. there. Water means anything. We haven't found what we have to light yet. Nope. True. He's gonna kill me. He's running away. He's running away. Nothing to light in here. Can't go down that road. Mm. Hold the key. Oh, got the wire. Hold the key. Yeah. On the previous screen. Well, if you hold the key, it, it'll allow you to go places. I I think as long as so. Like here? this. Hold the key. No. No, can't get past here. Watch out for things that kill you. Yeah. Ah. <gasps> like him. Get the sword. Run. Uh, let's put on the lighter again. No, no, no. We're going. Can I light this? Can I light this? Can I give you the key? Can I play a nice song for you? Nice song? Hmm? Monies? You always have money, though. Yeah. Can I give you a key? Nope. Let's light things on fire. Nothing. Light this on fire. Mm. Nope. Like this? No. You have to be in a very exact spot in this mm. game, though. So I could be trying things that are for real. You should be doing them, but I'm not in the exact right spot mm. to do them. Like this. Like the hitboxes are very small. Very small, yeah. Uh, do I get the ladder now? No. Because I've got everything. No, because you haven't done stuff with this stuff yet. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, look at all the items in the inventory now. It's tons. Yeah. Let's go on the key then. I mean, the lyre is usually to put people to sleep. Maybe it's for the baby, but I can't get the fish anymore. Well, maybe. Right? To get back in that room. Ugh, without getting killed, but you have the you have the sword, so oh, the dog yes. is probably... Oh, let's go back. Let's go back, yeah. If I don't die. Let's go back. I have the sword. I'm going to die, because... Don't touch him. No, no, no. Okay, baby. Here, go to sleep just did what it normally does can you light that fireplace or? oh yeah maybe that's a fireplace happy baby mm? no not happy baby the liar no it's not the baby does not care about that it just changes when you touch him yeah from money to baby you must have in mind that the city will, will be destroyed, destroyed very <laughs> soon well i know can I'm gonna you keep run the away? Baby. I'm gonna keep the baby now because the money didn't seem to do anything anywhere. Hmm. Maybe this guy wants a baby. Where's the baby? There you go. <laughs> Have a baby? Do you want to chew on a baby? Hmm? I'm not gonna give you. Oh, oh, oh it's oh, getting destroyed. It's getting bad. <laughs> it's getting and now bad. Now you're going to die. You want a baby? Oh no, he's gone. 
baby belong in this room? There's the baby. But I mean, if we figure something out, it's still useful. Baby even... cold. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Nothing. No baby. Maybe the baby goes here. Nope. Ooh. Hey, take the baby. Take the baby with you. Take the baby. Oh, not you. I don't know. Hmm. We've tried the baby in that room where it's the water. I had the sword on. No, you didn't. I did. You had the liar. You didn't have the sword oh, on. Oh, boy. That's okay. It's my first death, so. Is it? Oh, oh and it puts it, me on the, the screen. End. Oh, okay. It's the end. It's the end. It's just killing me. Yeah. Well. Because it's. Yeah. There we go. The destruction of Pompeii. Yeah. What are the you baby doing still? down there, you silly I fuck? do still have the baby. What are you doing? Come up here and say hello. Okay, baby. Oh, say hello. Oh, what just happened? Oh. Something just happened. Yeah, the Pompeii died. No, I'm... Pompeii fell apart. Not yet. Say hi. Say hi. Baby goes in here. Oh, he's biting me. The key. Oh. Oh, I got now hit in the head dead. with a rock. With a rock? Yeah. Is it uh, a rock? Oh. Oh, he's mad. Oh, you're so mad. He knows how to bite really well. Yeah, he does. He does. Okay, you don't. that is... Oh. oh, you're mad? Get down. Get down. That's very, very cool. Uh, really hard <laughs> to figure out. You gonna bite me? Hey. Hey, hey. Sorry. <laughs> he's he's me. Go. Yeah, thank you. Um, really complex. Lots of things going on. Yeah. I like games like that, though. That's what this game is supposed to be. It's not so, supposed to be obvious, you know? Yeah. You're slowly, you're slowly figuring out how things fit it's together. So. A, a screen That's where cool. he wanders around and does stuff. Press fire. Pompeii 79. Don't, don't press fire. He was, he's doing a little thing. Then he goes away and he mm -hmm. comes on the screen again. And it shakes. It's got a screensaver. Nice. Yeah. There he comes back. There. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. It is time for our last game. It is Alley a Quest. Mm -hmm. And this is for high scores. I actually have the cartridge, which is really cool. And I've never played this game on the show. And I've had this cartridge for like years. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a shooter. And I like shooters. It was, thank you so much for letting us play your game. Yeah, thank you for all the Very, hits. very cool. <laughs> we loved it. It was great. Yes. Um, I, one day we'll have to figure out all, I'll watch, well, the, we'll, watch the run through. Maybe. I, I couldn't figure or it out Or just come anymore. back and, and, and give it another shot. Yep. So this is a straight up shoot 'em up Excellent. You can jump into it and press go, but don't do that yet because nobody's seen it yet. Hi, you mad at me? You are biting me. There yeah, you are mad at me. So it has a great title screen. Uh, Ebby Vision prevents, presents, prevents, Alia Quest 2001 <laughs> by Igor. How am I going to say his name? Barzili, Barzile, Barzile. Well, thank you very much for uh, making your game. Yeah. It's very, very It's cool. very cool. I think we need to look into the history of it, you can't be what there. it's representing and all that. Yeah, so, next uh, time we'll next do that. Time. Yeah. Hi. Um, mm. Let me read the uh, controls mm -hmm. so that you know what you're doing. Uh, Ricardo activates protection shield by pressing the reset button. The hull will be able to take... Th Are you joking? What? The reset, oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought, <laughs> take more treats. Um, no. I thought you had to press the reset button as part of the game, mm. but he's just explaining. It's like, oh, if you press the reset button, you get three shields, which is like starting the game over. Um, yeah, you just shoot. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is old school. Old school. <laughs> 2001. That, ah. that house in Canada, thank you for following us. Ah. Yeah, I mean, have 655 ah, terrible. Oh, he's attacking us. I know, he re really wants treats. Kittens, no. So you know, I've never played this game before. <laughs> it's a shooter. You shoot things. Oh my god, this is going to be a... Annoying. 
It's hard because they go in a line and they kind of protect themselves. How do you even get break that line? You have it's to start horrible. at the beginning and just go at them right away. Avoid the bullets. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> that house in Canada says you shoot things and they die. Nice. End of instructions. Yeah, pretty much. Ah! <laughs> it's, I think it's one of those games where most You get used to the pattern. Most that cat is being terrible. You concentrate on the bullets coming at you. Yeah. Rather, I hate it so much. Oh, good lord. Stop dying. I have to reset. <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> Love how they zoom off the screen after you die. Or they kind of zoom to you, too. Um, so oh this my. is part really? of the high score uh, showcase. Did you die again? Yeah. Oh. Shock, there's a Don't lot of paddles there. Well, you know where your feet are. See, that's not useful. I can't uh, play this game and reset. You have to reset for me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to move the paddles out of the way so you don't destroy them. I would like to get past the second level. Very vintage homebrew. It is. 2001 is, is quite early. First homebrew was put out in 95. Really? Which is really amazingly early because the 2600 was discontinued in uh, 92 it's only three three years later the first homebrew came out okay so let's see about what this is all about oh my god you're taking big risks you have to <laughs> no, no risk no reward my friend that's right That cat. Oh, but uh, by the way, the last game had a nightmare version of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where uh, you can go back in time, and I believe it just everything happens at a faster pace. Oh, you're doing really good. No, I'm not. <laughs> no? I don't think so. They, they keep looping around. I think you have to kill a certain number of them, and then you move on to the next yes. phase. So they'll loop back if you haven't killed enough yet. Yeah. But only the ones you haven't shot. Oh, god damn. Oh. You have to get under them to kill them, so. It's interesting because there are not a lot of shooters where you stay at the center of the screen. Yes, and somebody was playing this as part of the, um... Ah, oh my these god. are not good. Oh, big wildly <laughs> Oh, I'm not liking these guys. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, they're beautiful, though. They oh my are. god, they're beautiful. The graphics are amazing. Where somebody was thrown off. They were like, it's not moving. My ship's not moving. Yeah, it is really. Uh... But it's the star background. Oh my god. The star background that's moving. It's beautiful. Yeah. I really, I think it's really impressive. And for... the stars are really good. Look at these, look at these enemies. Because they're, um... There's different brightnesses of stars, and also there's parallax going on with the stars as well. I'm like super cautious. Well, it's, it's so hard to kill them. There's no them. time limit, so it's good to I be cautious. I guess that's true. As far as I can tell. Parallax scrolling stars. Even darker ones in the background move slower. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's really, really nice. 1995 to 2020, the first 25 years of 2600 homebrew. Mm -hmm. Trying to wrap up the checklist books soon, yeah. <gasps> oh, Arena foot, uh, no, that's that was that's not bad. That's not bad. 11,000. 11, All right. I'm going to go again? Yeah, please reset. Um, is he using Playfield for the ship? It could be playful for the ship. Or is that too high resolution? No, that's too high. Um, so, uh, Igor also made uh, Escape from Super Case, Merlin's Walls, which is a very interesting game. You have to actually turn your screen 90 degrees to play it. Mm. And it's a 3D maze game where you actually move through the maze. 
I also did Pac-Man and Power Off, which I believe we pay, played Power Off. Looks like enemies are player one. Um, they could be player zero. Yeah, I'm guessing your ship is player zero and the enemies are player one or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. Interchangeable. And uh, your bullets are definitely the missile of the enemies. Because as it's passing through the enemies, you can see the color changing. Um, and the color is matching the enemies. And they're... Their bullets are also... I guess both of them are... Well, they only shoot one missile at a time. So that'd be... There's a missile zero and here's a missile one, but they're all, both taking the color of the enemies. Mm, they are, yeah. Um, and... Yeah, interesting. So I don't... I guess it's just easier to program that way. You don't have to... Uh, mess with two different colors. But he has to change the color back to the player at the bottom anyway. And the stars would be made of the ball. Hmm, interesting. I bet the enemies are both player zero and player one. Higher on the screen than your ship. No, they, they pass through the ship. So they w both wouldn't be Unless they're swapping out, which is possible. I don't even know why you do that. There's no two enemies on the same line. So they wouldn't he wouldn't need to do that. You don't move very fast when you go side to side, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to analyze it. I'd have to turn it on. So uh, this was first uh, sold at Hoser for eleven dollars. Oh, for there was fifty copies made. Got this info from Bar uh, Brian Mathern's homebrew list. I'm surprised this is not in one of his books, but there's so many homebrew. So I looked I looked for it in his book. Uh, his book for more information. I'll have to cover this next in volume five. There you go. I like how he varies the background sounds. The grass there goes do 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 do. Yeah, it's really good. It's very subtle because it's quite a bit quieter than your bullets. Um, fly through the space and destroy the aliens before they destroy you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you must learn how the eight different alien races move and attack. Plan your own strategy to get to the next level. So there's only eight of them that you have to learn. The mm. pattern. I don't know how many you've gone through. I don't know. Maybe five or six? I haven't seen the loop yet, so... Right. Five or six, yeah. This one is hard, because they just swing so uh, far. You have a better chance of kind of randomly hitting them, though. Some of them True, are harder than others. They're going to smack into you, though, right? Or you just move out of the way. Yeah, you don't move super fast, so you kind of... Oh, if somebody could keep track of the scores in the chat. I think you got like 11,000 last Yeah, time. I did. I got to these guys. Yes, you did. Oof. Oh, there's... The animation when you hit they're these guys... beautiful! ...is gorgeous. Watch... If you're watching, watch this... The animation when they die it kind of fizzles into a colorful puddle yeah amazing <gasps> ah oh, i think that was no. my third life well that's not terrible 11 400 you want to give it give it a shot you want me to keep going um you can keep going okay. if you're fine because i have a lot oh no yeah I, I feel like i can do better can somebody type 11 400 t 11 400 so this is the tenth game as uh, part of the 2600 High Score Showdown Season Five. Kenton, mind getting out of there? No, um, so Season Five started on January 3rd, and each week they feature a different Atari 2600 game to compete for high scores. Um, so far this year, they have featured um, Demon Attack, Berserk, Fast Eddie, Zaxxon, Video Pinball, LEM which is a homebrew, which I was planning on doing, but unfortunately they did the, the L, they played LEM during the week of the homebrew awards. So, oh, fuck. oh no. Well, you're talking, so. <laughs> so, yeah, blame it on me. I will. <laughs> so we weren't able to play the first game. Are you? <gasps> did you die? I think so. Kind of I don't know if I, if, I, if I died or I got out of the way. I think I died. That's Come up bad. Here. Come up here. No, don't go over there. I don't know. Do you want to look at this? Is this what you want to look at? There you go. 
Um, I also play Popeye and Circus Atari and Alia Quest is the ninth game. Um, so we're in the right settings, B and B. Come on. There you go. Good kitty. So the top score so far mm. is 71,900. Wow. And then the uh, it's 60,000 and 60,000 and then 59,100. So they're all very close. Oh. Uh, very far from that. Um, oh, I can't okay. do it. I can't play it because it resets so quickly. That wasn't a good score. Don't no, bother. No. Yeah. Unless it beats our old score, then yeah, exactly. not much point. Oh, God. When we re reset rage it, reset. Please, yeah. Roar! That'll at least get through. Actually, weirdly, I find this first level hard to get through. Because they're all in a line. Right? Yeah, and like once you once you're out of the line of them, you can't get back into it. Yeah. The other ones um, swing back and forth that you can kind of. This is kind of like get them all or don't get them at all. Yeah, or you get out of the way and then you have to wait for the next. You know, like they don't yeah. swing far enough to the left for you to. Yeah. I've seen this game many name games name many many times. Never knew it was a vertical shooter. What? Oh, oh it went right for me. Um. So there's actually a bug that wrecks your score. Yeah. But luckily we're doing video. Mm. The bug wrecks your score when you go back when you die the last time. So you're not able. So if you're not paying attention to your score. Yeah. You can't tell what you got. So. So it happens between 70,000 points and 80,000 points. Of course, only mm. one person has ever got that high. Probably. On, on this high score challenge, anyway. But it is documented. If you're pretty far into the game and your game, your game ends from a fast-moving alien wrapping around the screen and killing you, the graphics on the title screen will sometimes become corrupted. Um... So Nathan Strum did a review on this game back in 2006. He said, Alia Quest is an excellent vertical shooter featuring large, colorful graphics that would be right at home in the classic arcade game Astro... No. Nope, 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 nope. Just jump up there, okay? Yeah. She's trying to get a high score. <laughs> <laughs> no. Trying to get on the board. Since your ship doesn't move, I wonder if it is made from playfield pixels. Uh, that's what my first guess was, and I don't think it's... Are they wide enough? I think it might be made from playfield pixels. Should I check? I'm going to check. It's going to bug me if I don't find out. There's no reason to, but it would be... Except easier to program, maybe? Because it's just always there. Alia Quest. No, it isn't. It's made from player one. And the enemies are player zero. Interesting. Yeah, I think those are like those pixels are two. Pixels wide? Maybe they are four. <sighs> but it is it is a player character. It's the same as the gray bar on top. What? Oh, it's the same color as the gray bar. Well, one of the colors of the gray bar. Oh, good night, Vitoko. You must be East Coast. Um, Alley Quest is an excellent vertical shooter featuring large colorful graphics of your white hope. The graphics in this game are absolutely superb including a multi-level star field, which gives a very nice sense of depth and movement, and the most impressive title screen I've seen on any 2600 game in 2006. Uh, the gameplay isn't anything new. You just shoot everything that attacks you and try not to get hit. Actually, this is very loud. Sorry, okay. everyone. Probably can't hear us. Oh, they probably just have it turned down. Yeah. Um... Uh, I Google yet didn't find any dev, dev info on it. Yeah, it's a really old game, 2001, so it, it wouldn't be on Atari age. I couldn't find any record of development. It might be on the um, 
the, what is it called? The list? Stella? Stella mailing list? That's a possibility. I didn't, I didn't look into that, so. But I did look in Brian Mathern's books, and I was hoping it would be in there. I can only cover so many games. Let's see, what else? Information. So I've actually, there is a website. Um, it's in French, but I translated it. And, and it has some words from the creator. I wanted to get a shoot. This is from French, so some of this is going to be... A little weird? A, a little translating weird. Uh, Google did, does its best, but you know. Uh, I wanted to get a shoot 'em up that brings things. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? Oh my whoa, god! Whoa, cool! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! That's craziness. So Stay they kind away. of join all together. Ah, you got me. Don't bother. It's like the first level. Like get it, at, get it right away, but don't get it after because it's just too, too hard. There you go. Get it. Oh, 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 oh! No, 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 careful. Oh, Renafut says, yeah, I haven't covered any e Ebby Vision games yet. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, I wanted to get a shoot 'em up that brings things we're not used to seeing on Atari 2600, like enemies in double size. Oh my god. Oh, wavery. Oh, and they're moving. That's not too bad. Eh? Hard to get them, but they're not too. They're not like going for you. It's another one of those levels. Get them right away or don't get them at all. Just get out of the way. Yep. Get him. Get out of the way. Which... Bad cat. Which move like undulating according to a sinusoid. Uh, sinusoid. But I also wanted to find things that I liked about Mega Mania, such as the variety of graphics. Which the graphics are beautiful. Gorgeous colors chosen. And the, the design. So good. Uh, variety of graphics, colors, and movement of enemies. Due to the lack of memory, I could not integrate the refueling scene that I enjoyed so much in Moon Cresta. Uh, but in the 4K that was granted to me, I was able to fit the home screen and a starry background in differential double scrolling. This is incredible for, for 4K? 4K. Just wow. the sheer number of enemies, their attack patterns, the title screen, um, the nice bar on the top. Kittens. <sighs> You're being very distracted. It's gone forever. It went into a place you don't know. Oh, another level. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have to hit them twice. Oh, do you? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my God. Careful. <laughs> Careful. I'm like, mm, avoid, avoid, run away. Run avoid till the next pattern. Oh, maybe not. Oh. I think you just missed it. Right? Oh, <sighs> careful. Funny how 4K now means resolution. It does. Like, if I said 4K to somebody... Yeah. And they had no clue about 2600 games or Whoa. anything like that. They'd be like, oh. 4K, 4K is, is... Yeah, we're going to play some 4K games tonight. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's really, really? high resolution. Really? That's high resolution, Oh, yeah. that's cool. Do you have the new Xbox? No, 2600. <laughs> the 2600 had 4K games? Yeah, it did. Tons of them. <laughs> they actually started in 4K. <laughs> some of them in 2K. So a little bit smaller. <laughs> That'd be, How to uh, confuse young people. That, that would make for a very terrible, bad, geeky skit that, yep, that, that only, no one should make. Only, only middle-aged <laughs> people would understand. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else would be like, what? I think this is the same enemies, but colored different. Yeah, they are. It's beautiful. Wow. So it has different... Oh my god, you're taking so much risks. Did I say no risk, no risk? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The, the, wine, the, two, the two glasses of wine have made me bold. That's right. <laughs> bold, but still in control. Weirdly. Oddly in control. Ooh, careful. These are swinging wildly. <laughs> it's a really cool game. I only say I'm, that because you're doing really well. I'm not doing really well. No. For 50 or 60, I'm nowhere near, nowhere near that. Wow. It's really fun, though. I'm you're really enjoying against, it. against, like, 50 people. 50 people who are much better at gaming than I am. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to get, like, you're in the, at least the top half. Now. Well, that makes me happy. Or more. Like, top top quarter, I think. That makes me happy. Yeah. So let me take a look at uh, 
some of the scores. top 10. What? Yep. Oh, that's nice to hear. It is. It... Look at these. Oh, they're so beautiful. I'm just like... <laughs> they are. They're, they're really... They're so beautiful. I, I'm sorry. This game is really... It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. These things look like they're out of like a Star Trek, the original series. Yes. Like they're like enemy. tribbles coming down from the <laughs> from the ceiling. Spiky enemies that appear on screen. Mm-hmm. Tanya must participate in the Atari Age Showdown. Yeah. Well, she is. She's doing it right yeah, now. Yeah, I am. She's playing. Look. Yeah. Um, you yeah. have to do more than this, We'll definitely though. post her score. Yeah, it's not a bad score. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'll be I'm posting not... for me and her under my name. What? No. You're not going to post under your name. Oh. Are you? Put it under Six Suite. That's my Twitch name. No, no. This is Facebook. Oh. Mm. No. I'll post. Yeah. <laughs> I would put yeah. it under my uh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, Please reference this Instagram yeah, from Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. yeah, my my Facebook's just personal. So. Yeah. Um, so Daniel Medina is is one of the um, is the guy with the top score. <laughs> He's the guy with the seventy thousand. Oh. Yeah. Just making sure we don't beat him. Because <laughs> I, I I I'm I don't think there's too much threat. Because of then that. he because then he has to do better. He has seventy one thousand nine hundred points. Wow. Oh, oh, no fish. Thank you for following and enjoying the show. We're doing our best. Oh, these are great. These are beautiful. And they die. It's, it's just... I was, great I was um, at my hairdressers and we were talking about tattoos. Oh, yeah. And I would love to get some kind of Atari graphics-inspired tattoo, actually. The, the, the VHZC one. I love VHZC's um, graphics. Yep. The... Uh, I love I love the, the Fireball. I'm a big fireball. fan of the Fireball yeah. and the little uh, dragon um, graphics one? he has. I think they're static. The one that's just stand there and shoot things they at an shoot angle? fire, yeah. Yeah, those are good. Ooh, careful. But uh, I, I always love these colorful ships and things. I don't know how I'm doing so well. <laughs> I just feel like I'm in the zone I've right now. It. it doesn't seem to be getting harder, does it? Not really. Like, and I just feel just kind looping. of meditative right now. It's bizarre. In the zone. Yeah. That's what's called in I the zone. I know something is going to break that... that, 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 that uh, yeah. But this is kind of a weird game because if if you're dodging well enough, you just keep playing until you kill your 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 phase. You don't have to get them in the first round if nope. that makes sense. No you time can just, limits. You don't have to necessarily be coming for you all of a sudden. There's no penalty for being slow. Yeah, you don't have to get them all. I mean, maybe maybe there's I don't think there's a score advantage to getting them nope. all. They're exactly 100 points each, I believe. Yeah. Oh, oh no! That was a good run. That was a very good run. I don't know if there's extra lives. I don't think there is. No, I don't think so. I, I think, think you it's three, three and, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah. There's a huge story. Is there? Along with oh, I killed what? myself. I ran into it. 31,900. I'm happy with that. It's your turn wow. now. It's your turn. I need a break. Yep. I would, I would, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That, that felt really good. It felt amazing. good. I like it. All right. Oh, this is all sweaty. <laughs> of course it is. Ugh. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. You going to type in your score? That's a good idea. 31. Oh, so many spaces. I don't know why there's so many spaces. Oh. oh, thanks, Serena. <laughs> okay, you want to reset for me? Yes. Okay, you ready? Nope. It's probably going to beat you in the first round, but that's okay. First life. No. It oh, is, it is, it. uh, 
yeah, you you can be fairly cautious in this game because you can. There's no penalty. For there's being no cautious. penalty for just taking your time. Except, except, it the game taking a long time to play. Uh -huh. But that's fine. I'm just gonna treat it like a bullet hell. It is a bullet hell. And avoid the bullets. Yeah. Like, don't don't worry about getting the guys. Just avoid the bullets and avoid like them swinging into you. That's the whole thing. Mm. But you don't have to rush mm. shooting them. These guys are... I, I just think they're so beautiful. The... Yeah. Uh, Birds? The enemies. No, they're just... These look like they're those... They're so brightly um, colored, and, and I love the star field, too. Oh, my God. It's okay. Don't... 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 Don't stop. <laughs> you know those things that are... Uh, those massive drawings in the sand? That's what these guys look like. That are like a kilometer wide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. one that looks like this. Yeah. The enemies are self centering too. So if they pass, mm. they pass you, they'll start right in the center. They start in the center again, yeah. Yeah, right. there's definitely a pattern to their movement. Hi, sir. Are you coming to say hi? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Your brother's here too. The cats are very engaged today. They are. Yeah. Could be the treats that you brought out at the beginning. Could be they're very nice cats. It's very, very cool. Well, could be. Yes. Hello. Oh, no. oh. These guys are protect themselves in a line. Some sort of military tactic they've got. Attack him in a straight line! <laughs> <laughs> he can't shoot us from Shoot the guys in behind. They feel like um. These ones are they remind me of like looking. rugs. I don't know what it's like. They're yes. rugs floating down from the ceiling. Yeah, they do have a. Rugs are two crowns me. smashed together. But... There we go. Ooh, these are wildly swinging. Oh my god! I think I'll just avoid you because mm. I don't think I can get. Maybe I can get one. Oh no! This is the one where you have to just get them right away. I don't know the pattern on this one. Oh, this one's too scary. How did you deal with this one? Um, you just what you're doing right now, which oh, is you pick keep them to the off? you picked you stick to the um, left or right edge of them, oh, and, you and you pick them off. I think that's easy. Who is that? Say? Who is it? Uh, Papa. Robot something. I miss. Okay. I miss Papa Robot eighty eight. Well, thank you for watching. For following, yeah. And, and enjoying the show. Yeah. Or hating the show and following. <laughs> you can hate and follow too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Reset. Oh, oh, I've got a cute. No, it's hard to do. You have to be nah, right on top. You okay? I've got a cat. I'm so sorry. He's very sweet. Oh. Rage reset. Rage reset. I'm sorry. If you need me to, I can turf the cat. Oh, no. He just got there. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sweetheart. Yes. I have a feeling I'm not going to beat your score. Oh, I think... <laughs> I think... I think... I, I mean, I had four or five rounds in there, so... True. You had a bit of practice. I had a bit of practice. I was not doing well my first couple of rounds because I was getting getting the hang of it. Oh, but, come on. Uh, Papa Robot 88. Lol, play Atari 8 bit games myself. Yes. Oh, excellent. We are playing homebrew games on the show, so these are games that are new for old the old 2600 system. Yeah. So it sounds like he plays the Atari 8 bit. So it looks like Mega Mania. It does. It is de it is definitely inspired by um Yeah, the author of the game, the developer said he was inspired by Mega Mania. Yeah. And the variety of enemies. The enemies um, are really nice. And I love Mega Manias. And this this is kind of like Mega Mania, except they go right off this. Well, a lot of levels of Mega Mania are like this, actually. Yeah. Some some kind of hover at the top of the screen and go left to right. Some come down the screen. Mm. So. So sweet and deadly, yes. Damn it! <laughs> this level I died on last time, right? I don't remember. 
whatever I did, it was terrible. Oh, they didn't put your score up. <laughs> They're like, it's not even. <laughs> no. Nah. We'll put this one up. Yeah, just to have a score. Oh, no, you'll, yeah, I had a couple of those in there. Hi, sweetheart. Atari's here purring for emotional support. Uh, he's a good emo emotional support cat. He is. I'd bring him on all the planes if I could. But oh, I know, I they're know. They're discouraging that. They're oh discouraging plane use altogether right now. Well, and emotional support animals if they're not, like, legitimate. So no James more ostriches. Ebivision's old website can be found here. So Arena Foot has put the old um Is it the website. FR one? Ebivision? Ebivision? What's the address? Uh, webarchive.org. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Because I found cool. a French yeah. website that had information about this game. Oh, yeah. Um, that I translated. Um, but it's obviously not the same one. But it's, what is it? Archive.org of what? Web.archive.org. Uh, www.ebivision.com. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. From 2002. Mmm. Nice, nice, nice. Stop it! I had the, I had problems with that guy too, because you have to be on the right. You, you have, have to, to keep be pushing to yeah. the right for him. These guys are challenging. These ones oh, you I have to be careful because they swing to the from the right too if you're not yep. careful. So you have to um, not move too much. You want to stay just outside of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta move over. You gotta. Terrible. Eighty five hundred. You can record it, but it's terrible. <laughs> You want me to hit it? Uh, oh, oh. Are I mean, you sure? Are you sure? I can no, reset it. No, he's so cute. No, I just wait for the next pass. <laughs> he's so cute. Let's wait for the next pass. Oh, Hi. teddy bear. He's like a gigantic oh, teddy bear. Oh, he's I can't, so cute. I can't move right now. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I can do that. You just hold down the button when you start. Because they head right for you. It's tough to figure out what your priorities oh. are when you have a fluffy cat, but your husband's trying to go for a high score. I'm doing pathetically. <laughs> Tonight is not the night. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it just caught me. We need to get the treats on the rage, the rage reset, don't we? Yes. yes. Yeah. Made me mad. There you go. <laughs> Kill those ships. Ah. One. Oof. Foot's headed to bed. Have a good night. I hope night you're doing foot. well. Keep all in. Uh, hope you're dry and warm and New Orleans and, and uh, electricity and yeah, not freezing. I don't, yeah, I think stay to the left of the queue, never the right. I've definitely found staying to the left is good, but it doesn't stop you from running to to the right if they get in your way. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a good way to do it. This one. It it kind of it's does the next work. level that I have trouble with. Because they swing so far. Yeah, you have to be. You just have to really take your time for some of those those guys that swing a lot. You have to um, pick the, them off at the first one up. Yeah. Right? Oh my god, I almost ran into that. But you do have to kind of take risks, or it takes forever to get them yeah. to, to kill the wave. Are you okay? Are you gonna get up? Okay. It's like I saw something. Oh, did you hear a mouse? Mouse time. <laughs> mouse time. One more. Oh, it was in the 80s here this past weekend, now dropping to 45 currently. I noticed someone mentioned in Austin. <laughs> well, that's that's warm. 80s is warm. 80s is fine, um, right? Yeah, I always think 90s is like... Hot. Warm. Very 30, warm. 30, 30, something like that, 27? Oh, really? Yeah, so 80s would be in the 20s. No, 100 is 37, right? I don't know. I yeah, 100 is 37. Yeah. Anyway. I digress. Um, this is the level. Yeah, these guys are these guys are a challenge. You have to pick them off as you soon just, as they come on the screen. Yeah, that's your actually that's that is your best option. 
Um, yeah, it sounds like a lot of the polar vortex has passed now, so a mm. lot of the places that were really badly affected are warming up. And we warmed up too. We were cold ish. Yeah. Cold ish. I won't say cold. Three. It was no, not, not nearly not as bad cold. as anywhere else in the not continent, cold. really. But um, oh it's back to normal now. Celsius for the win. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Zero is freezing. Hundred is boiling. Any questions? <laughs> no. Thirty-seven is body temp. Freezing at zero degrees at, at sea level, right? However, what, what? we have been in what? Oh, they get wild. They Phoenix. Get, oh Phoenix God. when it was one hundred and forty Fahrenheit. That is quite an impressive. Uh, number. They get. They're getting wilder. They're swings. Yeah, they swing really wildly. You have to be no, very it gets careful. Worse. No, it doesn't get worse. It looks like it's getting worse. No, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, ah! yeah, you have to be careful on the bottom left, too. I don't know how I got... Oh, oh these guys. Yeah, there you go. It's normal level. Normal, but they're hard to get. They're like the first round of bad guys because they stay in a line, so... Mm, yeah. You have to get them from the beginning. Nice. Oof. Have we gotten to this level? No. Ah! How many down are you? Just one. There's no score of no. how many ships you have left. There was there? a complaint in. I mean, there's only three. So. There was a complaint in Nathan Strum's review. It's like you have no idea how many ships you have. Yeah, but you have three. I don't think you get more than no. three. But so, if you've been playing for a while, you're like, do I have one or two lives left? It's not too hard to keep track. <sighs> mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. get these. They're just too. Too wiggly and they're in a row. Too wiggly. Too wiggly. Ah, ah, ah. No, I can't get in there. A nice 12 in the Bay Area. <laughs> it's 12 degrees Celsius? Kelvin is the one true scale, yes. Kelvin. <laughs> Isn't Kelvin just like Celsius, but they've added like 200 to it or something, if uh, I'm not mistaken? Is it parallel to it? It goes from absolute zero up. It is. It, is it parallel to it? I like, think so. Like you add one, it adds one? Yeah. Because Kelvin at zero means nothing. Absolute zero. Yeah. There's no heat. There's no uh, atom movement of atoms. Yeah. But it's a little hard to memorize. Yeah, this level's fine. Just takes a little bit longer. All I remember from the Celsius scale is minus 40, I believe, is when nitrogen freezes out of the air. <laughs> is there a lot That's of nitrogen cold. in there? No, but I think frozen nitrogen is how you create superconductors. Anyway. Come on. What do I have to go to the right? Those remind me of Mega Mania steam go... irons. <laughs> oh, the steam irons are the worst. There nice. You wrapped over. Yay. I guess that noise is you wrap over. You wrap over. Yeah, you've done the first eight levels. Oh, 12 in the Bay Area. Yeah. 12 Celsius. Yeah. That's It's got to be fine. Celsius. It's about... It's a bit better than here. I feel like that's the temperature it is in the summer there, too. <laughs> it can be very cold. Yeah, windy and cold. Mm -hmm. Nice area, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Oh. There we go. Just create an in on these guys and just keep blasting. One more, I think. Not too bad. You can kind of swing in with them and pick off a couple. Good night, Papa Robot. Thanks night, for Papa joining Robot. us. Thank yeah, you. and following. Oof, 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 oh my. <laughs> oof, oof. Getting too crazy here. You're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. I think I've died once. Mm. Once or twice, it's hard to keep At track. At least once. Of At course. least once. I remember Maybe the one. Twice. I don't know if you died early on or no. I think. No, you no, I reset. Pretty good. Because I was getting yeah, frustrated. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they're why they get s more swingy every pass. Mm -hmm. There we go. Created an in. What was your score? Thirty. Thirty-one ninety. Or thirty-one nine hundred. Ooh! Oh my God. Yeah, he's got you. Sometimes you're like, ha! Ah, how did I avoid it? <laughs> ones are hard the last one is hard it's almost you're almost better purposely shooting it it's because they, they don't hold it 
Yeah, no, sometimes yeah. it's better to... Um... Oh my god. <sighs> okay, wrapping around. I'm not even going to try. my chance. No, you, you, just, you just can't. You Whoa! Gotta get, oh. I got one. Yeah, these guys are these guys are the worst. Look at them. They're very challenging. They swing really wide. Oh, yeah. That was not a good idea. Oh. I can pick a couple off if I be very careful. Just <laughs> just barely get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can pick a couple off. They're swinging like crazy now. Ooh. Actually, because they're swinging crazier, it actually makes it a bit better-ish. Oh, they're swinging like crazy. Ah, get out of here. Get. Oh my god. There we go. One more. Oh, no, 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 no. There's definitely a feel and a pattern to this game. Yeah. That you can kind of ride. <laughs> you can. Yeah. yeah. Once you once you kind of learn each character's movement, movement, you can deal with it a bit better. Yeah. Just like you took you a couple passes to it, get it. it to and get used like, to the okay, pattern. I get the pattern. Like so. I can see how you can get a really high score if you just get into the the mode of of. Yeah. Of hitting them. Oh, the last one. They have a certain pattern to the last one that's... I'm going to go to the left. No, oh, no. I have to go to the right. He, he'll always come up in the middle, though, I think. Yeah. There we go. Oh, these guys. This is where I died. Oh, I don't think I can pick off any. Oh, you can. can yeah, you couple. can. It just... It's slow. a good one to fire a bunch of bullets at first because they swing mm -hmm. so wildly if you just throw some bullets at the screen. Oh, look at these. I think this is where I dive is these guys. Yeah. Yeah, you're close to my score. They're wiggly, but they're challenging to get because uh, once you miss and you're out, you, you have to you wait. You have to wait, yeah. They keep moving. Wait for the line of them. Yep. And just try and throw some bullets at the screen. <gasps> oh, is the game over? No. No, no, no. You still got another life. Oh, you're Amazing. gonna totally beat my score. Nah, this is a hard. These guys are hard. I was, I was just pushing it too much that last time. I, I went to the right, to the right side of them, but I'm mm -hmm. not used to being on the right side of these guys. Yeah, you I'm get used to used to the movement on the left. On the left yeah. yeah. Feels slightly safer. I think you're gonna beat me. No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> oh, so close. What did you get? Thirty-one nine. Oh, three more to yeah, go. You're, you're definitely gonna beat me. Two more to go. <gasps> One more to go. It's actually the last guy. Is that what killed me in the end? The last yeah. guy? Yeah, quite it's, possibly. It's a one for one. Every single game is exactly the same. Oh my God. He is hard. Mm -hmm. I almost have to time it. Now. <laughs> he, is, he is challenging. Ugh. Ah, come on. There's like one spot you can get him at. And then he flies off to the right. No, I've 
do it almost when he comes on the screen. Just after he comes on, almost a little bit after. Oh. You, I swear, you're hitting the you're the button at exactly the same time every single time. Because it's so close. It's. Oh. There you go. Oh, so close. It's probably I got under him and he killed me. That's probably what happened. Yeah, you got frustrated. Yeah. Thriller. Oh. <laughs> Thriller. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's suspense. The tension oh. is building. Oh. <laughs> Should I go to the... Oh, oh you got him. He's oh, the... you wrapped over. Oh, good job. Thank you. Good job. Now you're back to... This is round three. Three? Yeah. Uh... Oh, my God. Nightmare. Oh, I knew that was No. <laughs> 32. Oh, no, you still have... You must get an extra life. Every wraparound? Maybe. Must be. Wow. Because I've died good job, good four job. times. That is hilarious. Oh, what was mine? It was 31.9, I think. I'm not beating it by much so far. Thirty-one nine. Yeah. Well. So till Friday? Uh, I I don't have it in front of me. Mm. Might be the end of the weekend, which makes sense. Before the show, mm. um, Daniel Medina came in, the guy who has the top score. Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah. and I, I was like, well, I'll, I'll see how I do in this. And he's like, oh, you're a good player. So he must have watched the show before. <laughs> to say that and not just be like blindly saying it. Um, but I'm not terrible. I'm, I don't know if I'd say I'm good. But you pick things up pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm able to get patterns. Yeah. And that shot I mean... went right through him. <laughs> replay, please. I want to replay on that. Um, right through him. Must use yeah, hardware collision. Yeah, you, you, you do pick things up pretty quick. Oh, the last guys. It's always the most challenging. Yeah. You have to be careful because yeah. the, the last guys where you, you get a little too... Um, brave. Brave, and then that's when you get hit. He either runs into you or, or his shot oh, gets come you. on. Keep going to the right. <laughs> nope. Oh, just missed him. Come on. A little bit more. Now. Oh. Does your movement move them? Yes. So oh, move I, them? No, I mean. It's relative. It's, oh, relative. it's going right through them. There you go. It was oh, they're rainbow. Oh, I love them. It just must be doing like some sort it's of so color good. cycling. Like it's because the game goes forever, so it's like it's just different colors for it's the just enemies. It's just like start at this color instead not, of this one. I'm not sure the enemies change at all. They just, not the shape. The colors do. The color no, but the enemies like their movement doesn't change. No. They don't get harder. No. It's just the game just wears you down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think that's it at the end of the day. Because, you know, I could play forever, but I I mess up. Yeah. And it's those mess ups is that's where it gets you. Mm. Ugh. Gotta, you have the, to watch them on the bottom corner. That's the bug. Yeah. When you die, when a guy wraps around the screen and hits you on your last guy, mm. then your score goes crazy. I think you almost have to do that on um, some of the enemies to keep pressing to the right. The carpets! The carpets are coming. I think that's the same color as last time. No, it's not. It's No? No, the pink. I don't think it had pink. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quite beautiful. I, I really, really like the, the enemies. Oh, yeah. It's nice to have these, this kind of level where it's like, okay, you can relax for a bit. It's not It's not, it's not quite as bad. I find their wiggliness makes them challenging especially that last one i don't know what it is but on on the carpet level uh the last guy is really hard to to hit 
Well, if you notice, you almost never get the first guy on the screen. It's That's always true. the second. Yeah. Because the first guy is a very different pattern. Yeah, you have to press... T oh, this level. But I think I've got a bit of a strategy. Yeah. Go in, shoot before they come on the screen, and it picks off one of them. Mm-hmm. There we go. Find your spot. Oh, I went right through them. Okay. At least I've got a pattern for this now. But you have to find your spot first. Oh, right through them. That's what most games are. It's about patterns and working out the pattern that works with the game. This guy's coming onto the left-hand side of the screen now. That was close. I feel like they're swinging further left. They do. As, you think so? As this level goes on, yeah. it gets tighter. That cat's going into... No, he's not. He's fine. He's fine. Do not Watch think him. about the cat. Watch the, the cat. I'm watching him. <laughs> He's I'm a bad cat. Don't worry. Uh, there's still... There we go. There we go. One left. But this one doesn't behave like the other ones. Where it's the last one, it's Good much job. easier. Oh, Rainbow. gorgeous. Beautiful. Nice so pattern beautiful. of colors. We've lost half the people out there. <laughs> They're like, it's bedtime. This is the problem when, you, when you're playing these games for long periods of time. This is why we do... Oh, the... from this wave, the movements of the enemy start to become insane, says Daniel. Oh, Medina. no. <laughs> this wave? Well, the third that's pass? good. That's good. Yeah, so it does alter. It does get harder. Okay, that's where I have to go to the right. Don't kiss. Innocence humans. Oh, the kitty. He's commenting. There's a little bit tardy. Oh, Did I you died. Die? Yep. Oh, but you. I think you must get an extra life each each wave. Yeah. I, I think you're right. Oh, this guy. It's so hard, the last guy. Oh, boy. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, they are swinging more. Oof. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to have to be really cautious on this one. I can't pick them off. I have to get them at the first run through. Just hope for the best. There we go. Whoa, narrow, narrow passageway. <laughs> narrow, whoa, narrow passageway. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I should shoot. They're getting closer now, so that's actually good. Because they're swinging so wildly that I can actually shoot them. In front of you. In front of me. Oh, that's better, actually. It's harder, but better. Ooh, ooh, ooh wiggly. Ooh. Oh, they're so wiggly. <laughs> wiggly. Yeah, let's pick them off as they wiggle in. Come on, wiggle in. Can we come up here? Come on. Yeah. Hello. That was Atari just saying hello. So whatever score this is, this is going to be my <laughs> score, obviously. Because this game takes a long time yeah. to get up to the level yeah. that you're getting high scores. Yeah. Oh, don't bug him. No, no sweetie. No, we love you. We love you. Come here. Cuddles. Cuddles while he's playing. Yeah. 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 Two left, three left. Oh, <laughs> he's so furry. He's very, very supportive. He is. He's like, get that, get that high oh. score. Uh, almost. Is this the guy I had trouble with last time? Yeah. <gasps> I have to go to the right of that You bullet. have to. You have to. You have to be a little bit more aggressive on the last one to get under him. But he goes off to the right, at the right at the very end, so it's not too bad. Yeah. I'm in a spot where I could hit him if it lines up. That's rough. Oh, so close. I would say beat... Precious. There you go. <sighs> oh, you wrapped around. Good extra life. It sounds like an extra life. I think that's what that beat means. You wrap around and you get an extra life. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just what are you doing? Turning off my hands. Oh, my goodness. This is the wave where you can do that. Because. Uh, oh, at least 
Because they don't swing. The they don't swing as so much. wildly. Yeah. Careful. Woof. Sweaty. I'm in top five. Yeah. Now, I would say. I'd say you're doing pretty good. You're almost at fifty. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Are you smacking me with your Smack. tail? Smack. Is he angry? No, Save he's it. just happy. He's purring. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Almost 50! Four more dudes, and it's 50. 50,000 wow, points! Wow, good job! I'm very happy with my score. Oh, I, I'm very happy with your score. And you were, you were thinking you weren't going to beat me. I'm like, <laughs> no, you're going to beat me. Yeah, it just you just wasn't... need a couple of groove. You need to find the groove yes. of it. Yeah, I just, That's what I find. Is... I just wasn't like finding it. I just didn't understand the patterns. Oh, uh, well, the, like I said, it took me a few tries before I kind of figured that out, too. And I was only at 31.9, so. This is a great shooter. A little repetitive? A little, a little, like, a little too easy it's almost? Very meditative, though. It is. What score are you aimis, aiming for, Thunkus says? Well, the it's this, the top score, which it's right now is around 000? 71, yeah. which Daniel Medina has, who's who's He's, in the chat right now. He will instantly beat me as yeah. soon as I beat him. He's probably him. playing yeah. as we're playing right now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> He's like, uh-oh. Yeah. He's not doing terrible. <laughs> I better start playing. So if he posts a high score, I yeah. can post I it. I would not be surprised. I but, post it uh, right after. James makes a perfect read of the game, Daniel Medina says, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I really, really like the, the Everything game. is it's, amazing. It's, it's such a beautiful game. And so for so such beautiful. A early uh, uh, it's on the left, it's easier to read. Elevate, elevated? I can't, I didn't quite see. Following? Yep, following. Thank you so much for watching. Yay, thank you for following. Your name. <laughs> Elevated. I, I didn't Elevated. quite see it. I think you need to change the color. You have it in a light blue, and I find it oh. really hard to read when it comes up on the screen. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I'll see what I can do. It is hard to read. It should have a dark background it and a light or color. Or a dark, yeah. Something like that. Contrast. Something like that. I think it needs a little bit more contrast. It's a little hard to read from, from afar. Just pointing that out. <laughs> so when does it get hard? Oh, geez. no! Literally, it's not. Do not say those things. That hard. is how. That is how. Elevated. Thank you. Elevated. This oh. cat's name is Atari. Imagine that. And there's a pixel <laughs> somewhere running around here. Oh, come on. Oh, it's just the timing. Almost. I don't know what it is. The last enemy on this game. I swear you keep shooting at exactly the same timing. Uh, what I do is I'm I'm stopping now and then just. Random. Well, you have to you have to pull back. So. I know I can get him because he does line up. Oh, he's purring away this cat. Oh, this is yeah. so annoying. Pixel and Atari. I, I don't go. know where Pixel is. Oh, that was a wrong move. Never go that way. Never go. <laughs> okay. Never go that way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because he goes. He, he goes for you. off to the right. They will actually. They will actually dart towards you if they're really close. I've noticed too. Mm. I don't think he knows where I am. Okay. You try going to the left too. I tried. It was nope. death. Nope. Death. Okay. Because fair he enough. veers to the fair right, enough. he'll run right into you. Yeah, at this point you must practice kamikaze movements. It's true, you do have to be a little aggressive. Ooh, but then he shoots the second time and it's... There. No. Close. Oh. <laughs> it's frustrating, oh, isn't it? It is. Or shoot and run to the left, I don't know. Oh! So if I stand still, he goes off. He does the same pattern, no matter if I stand still or not. That's the thing. Now. So I have to continuously move it to the right, or I won't get him. Mm. To the right or to the left, but that's dangerous. No, the left is very bad. I is can't it? catch up with him. Mm. 
who would think that this is the hardest part of the game? Shooting the last guy. When you're not really in danger, it's just hard to shoot him. Oh, come you're on. shooting at exactly the same time, though. It's because you it's... You have to shoot sooner. Sooner? Sooner! No. You have to go directly to the right and shoot sooner. No. You have to follow him, too. The whole way? You might have to. Oh, you might have to get... another bullet. You, have, you, you're, you might have to get really, really close to him. No, you have to get really close to him. So he does a second shot there. Watch. One, and he'll do one there. Yeah. So I can't follow him all the way. And I never catch up to him, either. So it doesn't get any better. You're going to have to go to the left. Ooh, have you seen the left? It's not a pretty sight. See? I, c I could just go to the left immediately. No, no, there's not enough time to get under him. I have to time this. This is crazy. Daniel Medina, 10 is right. I think you do have to go to the left. <gasps> really? Or you have to get under him. You really have to, f you really have to get really close to him and under him okay. before he does that second shot. No, I just don't catch up with him. But look, that was as close as I could get for sure. I was that far away from dying and I'm not even close. Uh, should I try left? I just... No, I don't think you can. No. No, nothing's working. How no, is this? he does. You you are in line with him, but you have to shoot. I think a lot sooner. I'm just gonna randomly shoot. I think you have to get under him. I think that's the only way you're gonna do it. And also, since Daniel Medina has a high score, I am slightly suspicious of his <laughs> his advice. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so my. I'm gonna come back. Okay, kitty. Oh, okay, kitty, you're come. up on me. Kitty. You're yeah. leaving. Yeah. Why, why are you going? Don't I'm gonna, go gonna be back. I'm gonna be, I'm be right back. You're just gonna be doing this for the next 20 minutes, though. So. Apparently. <laughs> come on. I think you can get under him. Like, your movements are independent of him. Like, if I stay here, he drops down on that right-hand side. No. No, you have to start right away. There seems to be a spot where you could possibly get him. Yeah, he is right under you at a specific spot, but your bullets go to the right, or to the left. They don't go straight. See, I'm shooting straight, but if I start moving, the bullets stay relative to, to the stars. This is stupid. Stupid! The closest my bullets are coming to him are like four pixels away. Like they're not even coming close to him. And he's at his leftmost point there. And my bullet is passing him at that exact spot. You're still on the same guy? Yeah, because he's not going far enough to the left. It's impossible. You cannot shoot him this way that I've been doing it. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to... But you, you got them before. The movement can't be that different from, from the other levels. Well, he says it changes, so let's do there, it. There, he goes, he goes, he gets right in front of you. There's no way. But the bullets don't. That's my, like, see, they my bullets go off to the left relative to me. Mm. He You gets, have to get under him. He you gets, have to keep going to the right and get under him and shoot him. It's the only way. Mm. How close is that bullet going to get me, though? You're going to have to get really close to him, I think. That, I can't, there's no way I can avoid that bullet. I'm going to have to do it to the left. I'm just going to have you to think? go to the left and get right under it now. Oh. Is that it? Is that your last life? It's you not. so lucky. But that's the way you do it, but it's so hard. It's ridiculously hard. I mean, you're just, you're stuck there with no score if you don't yeah. take a, take a risk. 
Yep. These guys are really flying out there. Oh, just now these look like the color has repeated. Maybe. But I could be wrong. Maybe it isn't quite the same. Ooh. Ooh they're swinging wildly now. Oh, they, they... <gasps> well, 57-4. Oh, that is a good score. Oh, they swung really wildly there. Good job. Good job. Ugh, you're in check, James. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I guess that's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm really happy with that score. Mm. I know I could beat it if I did it again, but I'm not willing to do that today. It's a long, it's a long haul. Not today. I'm happy with my 31.9 for now. I may this have to play end. it again, though. This ends... March 6th. So there's four more days. Four more days. We could play it again. We could play it on Friday. could play it on Friday as the last... Uh, does it end mm -hmm. on Friday? Uh, I'd be Saturday. tempted. I'd be tempted. Yeah. So we could play it as the last game on Friday. Yeah. Again, give each of us a couple goes. Yeah. Dude, you played hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was Get good. It. Yeah. That was good. That was fun. Ooh, exposure is so high. Um, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome game. Really good game. Highly recommended. If you like shooters... Oh, that's what you're playing with. Um, that is an awesome shooter. Um, it gets a bit repetitive, but it's it keeps you engaged, though, um, while you're playing it. So the games we played today were Mr. Yo-Yo, uh, which is really good now. Really, really impressive what he's done with it mm. and improved it the gameplay um the flashing uh the flickering doesn't happen anymore it's very solid plays perfectly he really just needs to do some add-ons i don't i didn't see any bugs i didn't see any bugs i, I mean, thought we it didn't was get playing very far. perfectly it's hard. yeah it's it is a hard game it's really fun really fun game hey, mr yo was great yep so here's atari, here's atari. Say hello. um bounce is fun um yeah it just needs some sound. Um, I know he's going to redo it completely so that he doesn't have that flashing in the bottom, which yeah. will which will help. Mm -hmm. um, simple game. It's relaxing. Some some nice relaxing sounds will be good for that, mm -hmm. and he'll be good. Seventy nine Pompeii. Very deep game play. It's a lot of things to do. I guess once you know what to do, it'll be a lot faster. Yes. But the fun is well, figuring it out. That really. is, and we were able to figure stuff out. I know. Um, um, can't remember the name the yeah. the the company the guy developer. the developer yeah. was giving us hints but uh, we were figuring it out it's just one of those games where it's not immediately obvious so you have to play I, around and that's the point of those kinds of I think adventures his instructions, adventure style games instructions needs to be a bit better on how to do things like press the button to activate yeah. this yeah go here like you just walk on top of things to pick up them, or you have to press the button to search. Just that like part of it. It doesn't have needs to be explained. That's yeah. that that. But the rest of it, I think, is good to keep it a little a little vague because you you need yeah. to kind of oh it's yeah the you, type of game you want to just poke around and try. You don't want to say where things are. Yeah. You don't want to say what to do with, with certain with, things. With things, yeah. Because if you think about it, you can like okay, the sword will scare away people. Yeah. The fish and the dog. That that was pretty obvious because they yeah. ate the fish. Yeah. Um, lighting the fire, well, it was hard to, it would be better if the manual had what those things were. Yeah. Like, this is a torch. Uh, this is, well, fish, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. It's mm -hmm. a baby, it's money, it's a fish, it's a sword, but just the torch is not obvious right away. So just saying what that would, would help, because then you would go, oh, the torch, I can light the torch. Still don't know what to do with the torch, but that's still a mystery to solve. Um, but great game. Lots of things happening in it. The earthquakes, the, the ash coming down, the, 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 there's no lava, but this, the darkening of the screen, the people running, there's so much going on in the game. It's really great. Alia Quest, you just saw it. It's an unbelievable shooter. Mm -hmm. Uh, the difficulty doesn't ramp up super quick once you get the hang of it. So... If he was still developing it, I would say mm, maybe make it a bit faster. You don't want a game to go on for that long. Mm -hmm. um, it just takes too long to, to level out. You need it to get fa uh, fa harder, faster. Mm. So if you're really good, 
then you can last longer, but it, you don't want it to last that long, I don't think. Um, but awesome, awesome. Game. Oh, such an awesome game. And I'm very happy with my score. And I'm happy with my. Really I'm happy well. with my score. I, I mean, a couple to make of tries. Top 10? I don't know if it's top ten, but <laughs> it, but I'm very happy. Very I'm very close. happy with it. I'm, but I definitely want to try it again because I feel like yeah. when you get in the mode of it, you can actually push yourself pretty far. Yeah, I um, could do. I could do better. I feel like I could I think do, some of those early deaths. <laughs> some of those early deaths I could have avoided. Yeah. Because um, yeah. It, later on in the game, I went for a long time without it, a death. It's the kind of game that you don't want to pass back and forth on. You want to keep playing it for a while by yourself because yeah. because y you kind of get into like I said, it's meditative. So you want to get into the yes. mode of it, and that's when you get the really high score. Yeah, you want to play it. Yeah, because if we went yourself. back and forth, that I don't feel like that would work. I feel like you want to play it and you want to just keep playing it over and over until you kind of get yeah. a nice run in so um yeah so it's a good game show's coming up next week it's probably going to be a 7800 show i don't have any games scheduled oh but okay. i will dig yeah. into the archives because i've played hardly any 7800 yeah, games yeah i'm sure there's a bunch in there to so play there's going to be some great ones to play excellent i want to kind of avoid um um Bob De Crescenzo's games because we're having a spotlight on him. Soon. Oh yes. So I don't yeah. want to repeat. So I'll pick other people's games, which there are a lot of. A lot of. So that's yeah. not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but next Friday is going to be another twenty six hundred day. Uh, next Tuesday, actually, sorry. Mm. Um, after because this Friday is seventeen hundred. Next Tuesday is twenty six hundred again. I'm going to be playing an exclusive look at Local Hero Two, which we played before, but he's completely revamped it. It's totally different. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good. Uh, just he just sent it over today. Uh, we're gonna be playing Dragon Hunt and then some mysterious third game that maybe somebody will put out new cool. or dig in the archives. Nice. Maybe play another Ebbyvision game because apparently I haven't played all of them. Yeah, we're excellent. Not, we can't play Merlin's Walls because you have to turn your you'd have to turn your head sideways and we'd have to turn this monitor sideways. I'm not sure how we would do that unless no you can flip the screen and, and this stream one doesn't it. rotate. Okay. Oh, you mean but we still can't see it sideways. So. No, but I mean, you, you can flip screens in computers. They can, yeah. But we I don't know how it TV. would export, so, you know. Yeah, we could flip the TV, if we could. There might be a 90 degree rotation. That's what I mean. Yeah, but we still have to flip ours. Our screen. Yeah, but you wouldn't the Atari be able to export flip. it necessarily, yeah. But we have to play it live. Isn't it going through the... Oh, no, it's not, is it? No. Yeah, you couldn't use, run it through the Atari, I guess. We could play it emulated. Emulated, yeah. And flip the screen somehow. I think Maybe. you probably could, but... Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'll but look, I, you'd have to I'll look into that it, because we should play it one neat. day. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of neat. Yeah. Does anybody know if Stella has a 90-degree rotation option? I would be... I Why mean, would anybody need that except for one game? It's true. Um, well, maybe we can figure it out. Hmm. Oh, actually, Windows has it built in. That's what I mean. Yeah, so that might work. That's kind of a weird, but Stella may have some weird adjustments you could Maybe. do too. It's Maybe. worth trying. Worth um, trying. And then next, uh, not this Friday, next Friday is the big special event. Mm -hmm. uh, you do not want to miss it. Like, I'm serious, folks. <laughs> um, so book your days off right now. Put in your leave for work um, so that you uh, don't miss it. Yeah, if you'll know you, soon enough about what it is. If you are even kind of. marginally an Atari fan, don't say anymore. I won't. No. <laughs> you you need to tune in. No. If you watch this show, you are. You will love it. But, you will. Your mind will explode. It, it'll. Your brains will be all over the ceiling. <laughs> like, you'll go insane. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so cannot hype it enough. No, I zero. I literally cannot hype this enough. <laughs> it is the biggest thing to ever happen on this show. <laughs> it's crazy. In three years. In yeah. three years. Um, yeah. yeah, James is great at hyping us. <laughs> I can't hype you enough for this. <laughs> if you've already looked at the hints and the things that people have figured out on Facebook. Mm based on what has been posted yeah and the pieces people are putting together he's excited, he's excited. you'll have an, a, <laughs> a small idea of what this is yeah um but there's going to be more hints uh posted pretty soon i think uh the schedule mm. is happening pretty soon that there's going to be something something pretty big mm. people figured out some more of it out by then yeah 
Um, and after that, I'm hoping the Dragonfly cart song comes one of these months. Then we'll be able to play EXO mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Edition. We might still save that for Bob De Crescenzo's thing because it has a special chip, sound chip, in the Dragonfly that only works with the Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition. Okay. The Yamaha sound chip. Okay. Which is not in the concerto. Okay. But works on the Pac-Man Collection, so... That's pretty exciting. Okay. But I don't know when that is. It's whenever it comes in. But I have it waiting in the wings. Um, and there's more special events coming up that I can't talk about either. Um, but one, at least one's happening now. <laughs> and there's a date set. Oh, yeah. remember, it's 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Not this Friday, next Friday. Next Friday. 4 slash 7. 4 yeah. p.m. Pacific. So it is earlier. Some people might be working. Not the East Coast people, but Pacific people might be working. So, mm -hmm. so book the day off. Tell your boss, I have something to watch on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> or just bring your phone to work and kind of plug in your yeah. earpiece and put it... No one's, a, ever, no one's a, ever done that before. Get a tiny earpiece. Staring at their phone while they're pretending mm. to do work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it to the mm -hmm. side while you're typing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Twitch doesn't have auto captioning for live, so... I don't, it doesn't. I don't know no, which, I guess it doesn't. I, I guess think, YouTube does, but yeah. Does YouTube have auto captioning live? Yeah. I think it does. I think it does. Yeah. That's pretty amazing, yeah. actually. Uh, and that's mm -hmm. it. So thanks for watching today. It was a long show, but a fun show. Thanks, Dan. He says, good show today. Thank you. Uh, so thanks, Metal Lunar, yeah. Dan, Daniel Medina. Thank you for coming. Yeah. For cheering us on. Cheering us on. <laughs> we didn't beat you. No, but you you still have the top slot. <laughs> you, had a, you had a pretty hard score to yeah, beat. Yeah, I think though it was, so. You know, not far. You were no, you did really well. I'm I, like I said for my like fourth or fifth try. I'm very happy with my score too. I definitely want to go back and try it again. Yeah, I think I yeah. could, you know, give Daniel Medina a run for his money. Mm. No, maybe not beat him because he says it gets crazy. Yeah. After a bit, like I saw, they were going whoa, whoa. Yeah. It's like you have to move with them. Yeah. Like liter like if you don't, you can't you'll, stay you'll in die. one spot. Uh, Thunkist is in there. Elevated, who oh. followed us. Thank you Thank so you. much. Uh, Papa, Papa Robot, Robots. new name as well. Yeah. Keep it chill. Yeah. Uh, Azure, 6502. Arena Foot. Yeah. Uh, Pitoko is in there. Carl G. That house in Canada. That house in Canada. <laughs> you related to you the other You shoot Canada? things and they die, yes. Uh, Repol, Horoxo Games. Thank you for making yes. uh, uh, 79 Pompeii. Uh, yes, that's right. Crossbow, 777. Seven, seven. That's right. Nathan. Uh, uh, command. Vitoko, 8-bits, RC7E. Lots of people. Mr. Zarnawupa. The dough the blade the fish. <laughs> um, oh, that's it. Good. Excellent. Lots of, lots of people. Lots of people jumping in. That's all. You're amazing. Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> You're breathtaking. As um, what's Keanu Reeves would say. You're breathtaking. You're bre some yeah somebody he went to an event E3 I, or something. I love I love Keanu Reeves. He, he's, yeah, and and somebody yelled from the cr crowd. You're breath. You're breathtaking. And he, he said, said You're, You're breathtaking. <laughs> so funny. Uh, it was such a meme for a while. Yeah. Um, and that's it. We'll be back on Friday with more great homebrew games. Yes. So until then, see you. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you on Friday.